Okay, now that you've made my life considerably more difficult, because now I gotta <laughs> juggle around a fucking camera. <laughs> Alright. We are on step one. And we're already hating life. So, number three and number six. And six has to go in here, somehow sticking out like so. We've un been unable to make it work so far, but we'll see. I have failed. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's one of us. See, I know that this piece right here, this little groove, is supposed to fit on here. Okay. But, okay, maybe, maybe I got it. <laughs> so now I made it look easy, even though for the last ten minutes that none of you guys saw, I was struggling. It's because we believe in you. I believe I can fly. I believe you draw flies. Yeah, it's oh, excuse me. not quite where we need it to be. And maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, there we go. Like a glove. My wife saw the model. Like a glove. My wife saw the model of um, oh god, the living saint Celestine. Yeah. She said, "If you want to get that one," I said, "Are you out of your mind? <laughs> that is not what you built for a first model." <laughs> I can send you a uh, a completed build. I got two of them. Of course you do. Not because I wanted to, because I bought a box set and my wife bought me it again for Christmas or whatever, or my birthday or something, didn't know I had it. Like she would know what I have. Dude, you don't know what you have. No, I don't know what I have. Of course not. Number five. Mambo number five. Is that the Codename Kids Next Door reference? What? Because he sounded like number five from K and D. I'm like, wait a minute, that's a Kids Next Door reference. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's an old song. Yeah, that's, uh, what was that dude's name? Um, oh, this is before my time then. Oh, yeah. Mambo oh. number five. A little bit of Monica in that my life. Ah, I know that one. That was Bill Clinton's favorite song. A little bit of Monica in my life. <laughs> I just got oh, demonetized. Uh, hope she never tells my wife. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is the meaning of is? What, what are we talking what about when we say is? is. Yeah. What we say is, does that mean Hillary is going to kill my ass? <laughs> we just got demonetized. Yes, yeah. we did. Not, not like I'm actually monetized, but... <laughs> you saw that we probably... We got, uh, he, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> we see unmonetized. Demonetized. Instantly demonetized. He's like, I blame you guys. And, I don't, and I'm like, wrong. what did I do? <laughs> I don't even know what we said. Fuck you, YouTube. Four. Suck eggs. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot to put my restream chat up. Oh, is when is your when is the new uh, Clippers going to be there? Except mine aren't going to be till Sunday, so could be the same. No, I'm very excited to do this. My wife's like, "You can actually do this." I'm like, "Yeah, why?" She goes, "I'll show you." <laughs> I just know you. You're going to be like, "Fuck this!" And you're going to take him outside and attach an M80 to him. <laughs> I did, what did I, I did that with an airplane model. I tried to make, I tried to throw it. It get flying and just nosedive right in front of me and detonated. But when, once again, you know, something was watching my, watching over my dumb ass. Dude, I did so much stupid shit as a kid. I tried to jump off the, I tried to jump off of a barn with a bed sheet as a parachute because I wanted to be a oh, parachute. Like, I wanted to be a paratrooper like grandpa. Dude, everybody wants to be a paratrooper. I, well, I ended up being one, but it took me a few more years to get to that point. 
but he had been telling stories about jumping in Normandy, you know, in Normandy. And I'm like, well, I can go do that. <laughs> and he's picking me up, and he's taking me in the house to bandage me up. And he's like, okay. He goes, boy, that's good. It's good that you want to do that. But why don't you wait till you can let the army train you to do that? And I'm like, what can happen? Okay, Grandpa. My so arm hurts. Do you actually have the proper equipment size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty much it, too. Man, I had a lot of medical bills because my stupid shit growing up. Hooray! Okay. Yeah, I have a resin model of Call, and I don't know where the hell that thing is. Because I would have three of him. And I got him, I got it because I was going to make a Dark Mechanicum set. Or army. Still may, but... But why? But why? But why? Mm -hmm. I need to rebuild the army in battle sector because I'm all kinds of ass. Just died a little bit. I'm okay. That's okay. That's when my little girl says, I'm okay. When she falls down. I'm okay. Tough little girl. <laughs> Very tough little girl. There we go. We don't really deal in self pity in this house. That's kind of how I grew. That's when I get these kids. They're like, oh, yeah, oh, I, I need self pity. I'm like, no, you need to get your ass up. Get up, buddy. Man, I, you know, I grew up kind of kind of like Badger. I grew up in the. Uh, you want something to cry about? <laughs> yeah, that's. I've said that to Scotty a couple of times. You're abusive. Okay. You're a monster. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> Cry about it, Cope. Yeah, I'm crying, coping about that shit, Cope. It's like last night we went to see Christmas lights. Scotty started throwing a fit because he wanted to go over and touch him, and you can't do that, right? Right. So he started throwing a fit, and uh, I said, "Are you done?" And he immediately stopped. <laughs> And the lady behind me is like, oh my god. I've heard you say that too. You done? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> well, yeah, ain't got time for that shit. Nope. Ooh, I can get a cannon of snow? That's... With a condemner bolt gun. It's kind of gruesome looking. I condemn you to hell, heretic. Miss no one. <laughs> exactly. So do I want to trade in my I want to trade in my battle sisters for Celestines. Is there a point to trading with my battle sisters? Well I can get Celestians, you fucking uneducated prick. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm just a fucking tourist. <laughs> God damn it. Uh let's see. Well, Where's can, Shay when I need her? I can give them melted guns. Oh yeah, especially if they connect. Base damage. I don't know why the base damage on bolt guns in this game is so shitty though. Yeah, it's a short range weapon. Even in the real game, it's only 12 inches. Well, the range is only 1 to 6 on a bolter. Thank you. 
Boom. It's got a hell of a bark. I can trade in my Repentia for Celestian Sacrosancts. If you ever feel like it, and I hope that you don't, you can always get this stuff. What's this then? Uncure, Bob Smith Industries Uncure. Okay. Um, All for uh, in case you mistakenly glue something? Yeah. In case you fuck up. <laughs> Probably be doing one of that. Well, that's why I'm saying dry fit as much as humanly possible. Alright, Call Now has a spine. Yeah. All right. Yeah, after I finish putting these guys together, which this will be it for tonight, I'll be working on Scotty's little thing. Mm-hmm. Trash truck. Oh, no, I said the other word. Trash duck. Trash duck? Trash duck. It wasn't trash duck. But that's probably better. Right, what do we need? Zero nine. Who's this picture of trash duck? So, I, I mean, they usually have really good instructions for these, right? It looks like they're pretty No. Detailed. No. Oh, they, they suck, huh? No, they do not normally have good instructions. And that reminds me. That's what I was going to talk to you about. So, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you should be able to see this pretty well. You see how they've got the numbers, right? I see the numbers on the instructions, yeah. No, on my video. Uh, oh, yeah, now I do, yeah. Okay, so the bottom of the number indicates the part. Does that make uh, sense? Yeah, so you don't, 18 isn't the part above the claw. It's the skull. Correct, it's the servo skull. That being said, if you get other stuff, like, no, not that one. Let me see. There are other times that they do things a little differently. Yeah, like this one. Where the tab itself, like 83 here, the direction of the tab is the part for that number. Oh, of course, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, but what you're also saying is make sure the picture matches the item. Uh, you can't always do that. Oh, of course not. Especially when you're dealing in bulk stuff. So, just be aware. All right. You're making me excited about doing this, man. That's good. It's like being a boot again. Damn, is it ever. Now assemble your models in a rapid vertical motion. True. True. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it gotta be vertical? How do I do vertical? Stand on your Trump. head. What is fuck? What does vertical mean? You don't know what fucking vertical means. Stand on your head, troop. That's fucking vertical. We actually had a guy that did not know left from right. I, I always thought that was a joke. I really did. Wow. But this motherfucker did not know left from right. Well, as the song goes, Dumber than hell, dumber than hell. Alright, this goes in here somehow, like that. Yeah, it's gonna be a long time before I try some shit like that.
take that out for now. Because I need this number 10 piece. I need a 10 piece tendy. Where's number 10? Right there. Except my number 10. Huh. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. My number 10 is actually more than what they've got here. Who the hell just texted me? So the instructions for this piece, the piece they have here does not, it's, theirs is a singular piece whereas mine's a whole piece. So instead of having to connect two pieces together like they've got, I don't have so that. Three pieces. Yeah, ten piece chicken tendy. <laughs> I like that chicken tendy. <laughs> For space wolves? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yes, that would be perfect. Yeah, I actually need to go bring them up here in a minute. This is going to go in yes. here somehow. Gentlemen, I have recreated a gun from the 2009 Modern Warfare 2. Okay. I have recreated the AK. About as close as I could get it. Nice. So I'm pretty sure those have been around for a while. So. Not in Tarkov. Yeah, but, oh, Tarkov. It's got the, uh, it's got, I think it's got the right, um, it's got the right foregrip, it's got the palm magazine, it's got the palm uh, pistol grip, and it's got the uh, the E-Mod stock that it looks like it has in the game. Just, just poorly modeled. But I couldn't find a tan... Um, <clears throat> I couldn't find the tan grip, the tan handguard, so I made it blacked out instead. Well, it's going to be black. Why Damn. not? Hmm. Whoa, whoa, he did a racism, cancel him. No shit. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> the racist is the racist. racist is the racist.
Can you hear me? Yep, yep. Okay. I don't know what the hell. Alright. So what do you like, keep one blade or one handle with kind of dull blade and the other one with the sharp one? Or? Yep, dull blade, sharp blade. Let's see, this goes... A dumbass will have to label them, because I'll forget which is worse. Huh. Um, may not help you, but I will tell you that if you're going to do, use tweezers, it's going to take some serious practice because a lot of this plastic is very slippery. Okay. Um, I have them, but I usually use them if I use them at all for pushing, not putting them in place. Okay. Um, at least that's been my experience, but I also use my razor blade for doing the same thing. That's it for a second. We need 16. I had to laugh. My wife, I was listening to Luke and was doing a, uh, he's got an entire episode about the history of Sisters of Battle. Mm -hmm. And he starts it off by saying what their weapons are, what their armor is, what they're capable of, and manifesting miracles. And I had it playing through the speakers instead of my headphones, and my wife stopped. She goes, why the hell would you want a mutated looking freak like a space marine if you could be cool like that? Like, you need to get on Twitter, woman. Right. <laughs> that has been our argument all along. Why the fuck would you want? Yep. Yeah. Because that's exactly the point we've been trying to make all along. Why the hell would you want to look like a mutated freak? Well, to be fair, I mean, Space Marines don't look mutated anymore like they used to. That's true. Yeah, they keep forgetting they're godlike. Well, remember, it's the beauty of Sanguinius and all those turds. I always picture them basically looking like pugs that have been beaten to death with a fucking string. Well, if you look at Rogue Trader, they did. Mm-hmm. I mean, they heal, but it doesn't say they heal without scars. Right. So, after 200 years of fighting, you're going to look like... I mean... You know, you and I ass. Like ass. Ass after 20, 30 years of fighting. You bet 10 times that? Hmm. Oh, God. You look like that. Yeah, exactly. You're going to you're gonna, you're gonna have a face like a boxer that's had the shit beat out of him a thousand times. Hey, shut your mouth. All right, fine. Fuck you, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh god, that ripped through the fucking Fakawis. You guys didn't do that for did you? You yeah, did. What's your name? Fakawis, what? Yep. What's your name? Tony! Fuck you, Tony! <laughs> that was not, <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> Ezekiel. Ezekiel, that thing fucking sucks. He always falls into the water. You can't yeah, swim I've, either, I've, can you, bitch? I've seen drunk ass troops do shit like that too, man. <laughs> Be out there getting up in each other's face and they can't even stand up straight. I'm like, if y'all swing, you're gonna fall on your face. You're both gonna eat shit and we're gonna laugh at you because you're stupid. Right after I got divorced, I got a side job, which you weren't allowed to have in the military back then. Nope. Ooh, how dare as, you? As a bouncer at the uh, on 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 base. Uh, bar, the enlisted bar, and I get these guys in, I'm like, I knew these guys, and they would get drunk up, and then they wanted to fight, and I go, okay, here's how it's going to go down, you're going to swing, I'm going to duck, because you're drunk, you're going to fall on your face, the MPs are going to arrest you, and you're going to get busted for attempting to hit an NCO, and being drunk in a bar is no excuse. Now go sit the fuck down. I had more fights defused that way. 
that's it was that last working. operating brain cell firing in their brain. My entire career is now under fucking review. Maybe I had to go sit my ass down. Right. But there were a few. There were a few that determined. They were determined to fight, and the same. The, They'd swing, I'd duck, fucking punch him in the gut. They'd go down, the MP's like, you want to press charges? And I'm like, I want to press charges. No, I'll take him to the drunk tank. Yep, take him to the drunk tank. He'll sleep it off tomorrow morning when he wonders why fucking his head and his stomach hurt. You can explain it to his fucking chain of command. Yep. Good fuck. Fucking asshole. Back then, I had pretty fast reactions. I was blessed with fast reactions. Not so much anymore. Uh, the curse of getting old. Fuck. You wait. Oh, I know. It's coming. I am reminded of my fleeting mortality every time I get on that rig. Every time I climb on that ambulance and go to the call, I am reminded of my fleeting mortality, and I'm like, I hate, I hate being stupid. I want to live forever. It's, it's not just the fleeting mortality. It's how things sneak up on you, like pain. I used to sleep on a fucking steel deck. Thatcher did too, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Now, if I lay on my pillow wrong, I hurt. Right. <laughs> Rather sleep on the friggin' floor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I used to fall asleep sitting up in the gunner seat. Put my head against the sight, drooled on the front of my uniform, and I was going to five seconds. Now, if the pillow's too hot, I can't sleep. The pillow's too cold, I can't sleep. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. So this is where I would want a sanding twig is for something like this so I don't cut into the, you know, the, the skull or the head. Okay, so where, what are you sanding off the, the little bit that had, had attached to the uh, screw? See that little white part? Yes. Oh, sorry. That's, I mean, now it's sanded, but that's what was left of the sprue. So... Not that I heard. Yeah, I just heard a weird noise. Oh, they're eating all the cereal. That's good. I know, I put them out there to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he held a gun to my head and said, Quit being a pussy, build a fucking bed. Yeah. And it literally wasn't me. It was no. freaking everybody they else but me. I'm the one going, dude, don't be an addict you, like me. You did the gentle sale, though. Well, don't worry, if you do build it, I'll help you build it. I'll, <laughs> get, I'll get through it, I'm like, you fucker. See, you could sell. Yours would take longer, but you would have more solid sales than that. Oh, I don't know. You would, oh, dude, it's not like the old days when sales used to be, like, hard-hitting. You're, like, literally, you have to schmooze them into selling. You're like, okay, well... Yeah, you could not get those radios, but you did tell me you had communications problems. Well, yeah, I'm like, well, you called me out here for a reason. If you're not talking to each other, what would happen if you don't talk to each other? I let them talk to themselves. In that show. Right. Well, if, if we can't talk to each other, I'm like, and you're in a school, I don't have to remind you of what Nashville is like. I said, or worse, Uvalde. Because Uvalde, they couldn't talk to each other. Right. That wasn't part of most of what people heard on the news. But literally, they couldn't talk to each other in Uvalde. Jesus. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. And there is a solution. It's expensive. But it's the kind of solution that nobody thinks they need until the fucking shit goes down like that. It's called a BDA, a bi-directional amplifier. It mm -hmm. basically boosts the signal in both directions so that, because radios have been restricted. The radio, if, you're, if your dad or granddad was a cop, the radio they use is probably a 10-watt radio. Fucking thing to talk through concrete. Now, they're 3 to 4 watts because the FCC has done 
chicken shit. Patriot Act. Yeah, but because of that, the now the uh, buildings now, especially newer buildings, especially buildings in hospitals or banks, cannot talk through most walls. So you have to have these boosters. And now there's going to be a law, and every state's going to handle it differently, that you must have these systems in place. There is no excuse not to be able to talk. So. And uh, it's, it's going to, you're going to see a lot of, well, you may or may not see, but you'll see a lot of panic. Because what most people used to do is they would test, and since you're on an ambulance, they, they test right at the door where the ambulance pulls up, like in a hospital. Yeah. And the emergency room is always where? On the outer edge of the building. For very good fucking reason. So they'll test the radio zero. Well, the radio works fine. Take that shit up to radiology. <laughs> oh, look, suddenly it can't talk through a lead wall. I wonder why. Well, what a concept. It's almost like there's magnets. Yeah, yeah. Or, or yeah, go take it up to the MRI machine. See how well that shit works. Mm. Yeah, so. <laughs> Probably can't even talk through that fat ass nurse that's just on at admissions. So. <laughs> Dude, there's always a, you know there's always a fat ass nurse in the questions. Oh yeah. Demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> well, I forget. I keep forgetting. No, I'm not even, <laughs> dude. I'm not even monetized. Oh, I even sweat it, dude. I'm just man, fucking around. Just I'm just fucking around. <laughs> I'm I'm so fucking small time as a YouTuber. What's You're crazy? What's crazy though is that I feel like I got better content than most people. Well, yeah, but you're not you're not bouncing your titties. So. Uh, that's true. I don't have any, so there's that. I get some man boobs on the show. You're right. Hey, you know I can call myself whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that one that was on Twitch that looked like that—that that was. A, I swear to God, dude, dude, I thought for sure that was a guy. I did too. I thought it was a dude. Not gonna lie, I'm like, that's a dude. These dudes are getting all hot and bothered over a dude. Why is why are the dudes getting excited over it? Dude? I'm dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. You the dude don't know what kind of dude he is. <laughs> you the confused dude. You the chick that thinks he's a dude and thinks he's a chick. Bastards get away from my hair drop. <laughs> Goddamn PMCs. Whoa. What's wrong with him? The dudes are emerging. You went full retard. Fuck you, eat me, bitch. Got one. Hey, stupid, catch. <laughs> hey, stupid, catch. Man, too bad you look kind of stupid down there. Why are you so <laughs> Got him. Why are you so stupid, stupid? <laughs> Got him. Sit, nerd. You're talking to somebody in the game and not yourself, because otherwise, shit. Badger and I got a reason to be fucking crazy. Yeah. Now, see, they would have me put put this on a base right now, but I ain't doing that shit because I need to be able to move my hands around stuff. And that, unfortunately, is something that comes with time or at least... Oh, I see, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't always put it together the way they say. I look at the parts before I do anything. And uh, 2,000 years of fucking experience, right? 40,000. Get it right. 40,000 war hammers. Nice yep. experience. Yep. You won. All the you Warhammers. Won. You won, Horace. You've done it. You've won all the Warhammers. <laughs> I almost bought a... Now see right here? I put yeah. that on there like they wanted. 
but I got to push down on the back of the book to get it flat because it's not sitting how they want, you know, the way that it should be. So you, you really got to look at stuff like that. Mm. There may not be a, a way around that. Oh, it's... It's because of all, in my opinion, it's all because of the Chinese recasts and stuff, and Russian recasts. This is their way of trying to make it more and more difficult. Plus, you know, they're trying to... Yeah, that looks okay. Because they could have recast, they could have cast a lot of this as one piece. That would um, yes, but with the amount of voids like this... Probably not, and then it wouldn't have the depth, you know, where you've got like all the working parts in there, you know, all that kind of stuff that no one's ever gonna see. Well, that's what I was just gonna say. How much of that is actually seen? It, if you did it for a painting competition, they would look for stuff like that, yes. Yeah, so see, right now they want this, this servo skull on here, you know, attached and hanging off. I don't want to do that just yet. So, also it was two pieces, so I'm giving it time to dry while I work on other stuff. Do not lose my servo skull. <laughs> Stop. Don't touch me there. That's my no-no square. That's my no-no servo skull. I can't believe those retards thought that was going to work. Cheeky little bastard! You Make over a million of this guy's fucking gun! I swear to God, I spent over a million euros on that piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, just a shitty ass gay ass. Who cares? Well, here's the thing. Besides the fact that it was stupid, it was also racist, and a ableist, and a uh, discriminatory for everything that they talk about. Because you're treating these migrants as you know, children that do not have the mental capacity to understand, you know, rape and all that. When they fully understand it because it's a national pastime. Hey, I'm just saying the truth here. Oh, I know, I know. What's up? wish me luck, kill us up. I gotta kill him and I don't have that much ammo left. You be Wait fucked! Don't let him put your no-no square. You be Wait fucked. What am I doing? I'm stupid. I have an A-10. Why don't I just use the A-10? <laughs> oh shit. Run, 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 run. Or Warlock fucking kills me. Oh shit. You is dead. I'm you Claire Warlock. <laughs> You a dead motherfucker. You are D E D dead. <laughs> and deer ain't spelled D E R E. Damn, you is dumb. She don't mean no good, no how. <laughs> you know what I mean. With the eight ten brothers. I need to rewatch that movie. <laughs> the bird, one of the true unsung. Oh my god. You, you, you haven't lived till you see a, You haven't lived till you see an A ten fly underneath you. Yeah. You're just, oh, you're just exactly. sitting on top of a mountain or a hill and so the A ten's going to the valley next to you like oh man, what you doing over there? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. kill us dad. Cannot believe they got rid of that thing. And they replaced it with a crop duster. It's very air. Let's just say it's, uh, it's very Air Force, and I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> That's stupid. Did you like my A10? <laughs> Damn, Kelly, you look kind of stupid. Ooh, trash keys, trash loot. 
You're over here going, God damn, that's a complicated model. Wait till it's time to paint it. <laughs> what is this? 23, 22, 24, and 27. I was looking at all that scroll work she's got hanging from her armor and I'm like, I can't imagine. Yeah, there's tricks to that. The decals are what's going to kill, or whatever they're called, the, you know, the little symbols you put on. Yeah, decals. That's, that's what used to kick my ass as a kid when I used to do models, so I'm sure there's tricks to that. There is. Microsol. It's specifically made for decals. It makes the decal more pliable, so it goes over, like, goes over the surface better. And so, and actually, we didn't have when I was a kid. Okay. No, yeah, of course it didn't exist. Okay, cool. And apply it with a Q-tip. You know, oh bullshit! You're always telling your wife you can't hear. Her. The bright side is most of the difficult shit is over with for this model. No, I, I see why you recommend building one model at a time, especially at my, you know, level of uh, ability. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Once you well, learn models, not. then you can do, like, you know what they're going to do. Then you can do like you know all the legs and then you know maybe the torsos if you know how you want them to go, you know stuff like that. But basically, it gets faster the more you do it. Uh, for the most part, yeah. And there is Call's unhooded face. <laughs> fucking shit coming out of his nose, fucking looking like a goddamn Cthulhu fucking lictor. You ugly. That ain't no alibi. U G L Y, you ugly. <laughs> Remember that movie? I do. How the fuck do you know that, man? That movie, you weren't even born for 20 years when that movie came out. Oh. Family Guy had made a reference to it. Stewie did. Oh, I was going to say they stole that from fucking Wildcats. It was a movie and back in the 80s. Ugly, oh, she fat and ugly. Oh, my God. No, the cow says moo. <laughs> that, was a, that was a movie starring Goldie Hawn back in the 80s. It was a football movie. Damn. Had Wesley Snipes in it at about, I swear to God, Wesley was like 19 years old. Holy shit, Wesley Snipes, 19 years old? God damn. It was like, Wesley Snipes was like 19, Woody Harrelson was like 20. God was, damn. And they were nobodies. They were nobodies when that film came out. No, it was like one of their first films, wasn't it? One of their yeah, they, <sighs> yeah, they were, it was, uh, it was pretty funny, man. It was actually a pretty good movie, even if you're not a, like, a big you know, sports ball guy. Some bitch. I can watch this sports ball. I'm okay with it. But it's basically the shitty inner city school that she gets, you know, kind of one of those very typical 80s films where she's like, come on, guys, we can win. And she coaches them and they win and they go to a championship and all that bullshit. All that bullshit. But it was still a good movie. Flip my finger slipped and I fucked up. God damn it. I 
just need your turn, motherfucker. Nope. Damn. Oh, and I broke that. Of course I did. Oh, no. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, that's how I got it, because I broke the whole foot. Wow. Okay. Very well, then. Got on that bitch like a fucking can or a jar of pickles. Look at this. Fucking broke the whole thing. <laughs> Mom was so dumb, she think jar jar come with pickles, pickles. Holy shit. Yeah, I tried to slide it on there, and it fucking glued wrong so I had to twist it off I had to use that uh, stuff yeah but it didn't quite get in there where I needed it to where did you get that mat from Walmart it's a self healing cutting mat I don't really cut on it but if you ever needed to you know They're not cheap though. Uh, they're like 17 bucks, looks like. Uh, what size is that? It is an 18 by 24. They got a 24 by 36, it's 33 dollars. Yeah, that's typically what I, I get is the big one. Looks like you got a 17 by 23. Uh, yes, this one. So, yeah, that's the 17 dollars. I got a bigger one, I think, downstairs. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's, it's on sale. Shit, the water's so cheap. That's what I thought. That sounded cheap. It's 50% off. Maybe because of Christmas? Probably. Maybe I need to go buy some. Is you said 50% off? Yeah, it's like sixteen ninety seven on Amazon. The Fisker self healing cutting mat. Shoot me a link. Sure. I wish they had them in black and white, but racist. Yeah. I also made a forty k football game using these, fo football and soccer, using these as the the playing fields. It's actually pretty flawless. Let's see. Is that the double sided? Yep. Very well. Let's buy two of those. What the hell she got in the cart? <laughs> uh, let me go get a tape measure and make sure it'll fit on my craft here. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? 
Exactly. Do what? No, you were. But I got a message from one of the bots. I was like, I was questing. I'm like, no, you weren't. Shut up. Smokey, is that you? You know, come over here. You there? What you doing? Nothing, man. Nothing. Ah, oh. all right, smartest man. We're back here. Looks like you taking a shit. What's your name? What is your name? Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! What's your name? Bodacious! Bodacious, that be fucking sucks! <laughs> <laughs> and here's Badger going, how come you didn't name your fucking character Death? That's why, why did you name him that cool ass name? Yeah. Most people when they hear that name are like, that name is stupid, man. Why would you pick a name like that? Ah, you been eating corn, ain't you? Shut up, be there. Tell you what, you get done, I clean all that shit up for even two dollars. <laughs> and go the hell on. All right, man. <laughs> man, don't hey, he's there. What man, what? Don't don't tell nobody. Alright man, I won't keep it on down low. Hey right, y'all, Smokey back here taking his shit. That's what I did last night. I told you to bring my mother into this. I built a fire over there. Oh, okay. Let's check out the next one. <laughs> <laughs> There's still not a better fucking movie skit than if you've seen the movie I'm Gonna Get You Sucker with Chris Rock. <laughs> no, that sounds Oh, amazing. my. Chris fucking Rock. It, it's his first movie role ever. Oh my god. And he walks into this rib place and there's behind the counter is like Jim Brown and I'm trying to think of something. There's just two giant football players from the seventies. And it's a rib joint. He goes in and he goes, mm, I so is hungry. How much for ribs? Five dollars? No. How much for one rib? One rib. I show is hungry. That'd be fifty cents. How much for a Coke? 50 cents. How much is a cup? 10 cents. Well, fuck the cup. Can you just pour it in my hand? <laughs> <laughs> he says, all right, so you want one rib and a Coke. Yeah, I is hungry. That would be 60 cents. He goes, he pulls out a bunch of shades, starts counting, and says, hang on. And he reaches into his pocket and pulls out a wad of 20s. <laughs> so he goes, you got change for 20? <laughs> Just, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find that. And I'll put it in fucking chat. Man. <laughs> so stupid. He got changed for twenty. Oh my god. Or no, it was changed for a hundred. So back then, oh, nobody had, nobody had changed for a fucking hundred. Like, right, bro, you absolute ass. Nobody has changed for that. Fuck off. It's, it's a, it's basically a movie making fun of the old black exploitation films. 70s, 60s, and 70s. And it's an all black cast. They got one white guy. He's the bad guy. But it's very tongue in cheek. Very tongue in cheek. Very funny. And it knows what it's. It's, it's not taking itself the least bit seriously. Warrior. Well, I'm going to make sure this is the question. I mean, you see Chris Rock, man. He's one skinny little dude. <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds fucking hell. Oh, that's so, that's so fucking funny. <laughs> hey, you know how I got changed for a hundred?
the subs. I'm going to put it in general chat. Hmm. Hungry. I did that to my wife to this day. I'm like, honey, I sure is hungry. She was living because you want one rib. She's like, <laughs> she's like, you know where the damn kitchen is? <laughs> yeah, that's about it, too. Back when you could do that. Mm -hmm. Can't do that no more. No more. No more. You ever remember that movie Brewster's Millions? Yeah. Richard Pryor. That was one of my favorite movies. I was trying to explain that to my wife a few days ago where he had to spell the money, spend the money. Because she's like, I can't throw it away. She said, no, he's got to spend it. Yeah. But he can't show anything and he can't tell anybody. So she we were talking about the election. I said, I'm ready to vote for none of the above. She was like, What? Yeah. also develop the talent for when you break something off like I just did your fingers will grasp it in the exact right way that it needs to be so that you can just choop, put it right back that way you're not spinning around going how the fuck does it fit on it god damn it it's just something that happens from trial and error I guess guy's got enough small parts and bits to make that happen quite often. But this is hammer have bits. Huh. It, it bits. Right. Fuck that retard. What's it about? What's that? What's his video about? Oh, I'm gonna look here. I never do this, but this is amazing. It's only six minutes long. Never do what?
Son of a bitch. Dropped it on the floor. Five and thirty-six need to be put together. Tiny little fingernail, finger phalange. Remnant underscore of underscore chaos. Ooh. Not often you see people do ad much. Yeah. Well, this is my second call, and um, this will be the. Um, well, I have a third one laying around somewhere. I can't find it. <laughs> this will be the end of my admic. That call is, uh, he's a pain in the ass. No lie. Apparently some guy that's pretty severely disabled, he's out there trying to, to, to hustle and make some money. That's what this is about. What, like trying to get, get him some supporters? Yeah, yeah. I'm just finishing the video now, so. Damn it. Your ass in there. Oh, God, underscore underscore chaos. Chaos. What oh yeah. Hold on. What? Oh, um, well, in truth, I had bought the one set with the um, Saint Celestine, the two Seraphim call, and uh, I think it was uh, Inquisitor. And my wife had bought bought me the same set not knowing I had it and so there was two of them and I had already ordered also a third or really the second one for me um, so I could do a dark adeptus uh, or dark uh, mechanicum and uh, so that's kinda how that came about gosh boy this is a pain in the ass man. Let me see here. I probably had it right the first time, but... He is definitely pissing me off right now. Oh my gosh, come on already. Son of a bitch. Damn. This piece right here is a pain in the ass. Go soft. Hey, what's up, man? It's been a minute since I've seen you online, or that I've been on Twitch to check LOL. Yeah, man. School and all that, but we're kind of back at it. 
working on trying Thank to get, get things squared away so I can uh, do an update video for everything that we've done. Alright, I think we got it finally. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> it's not having it, is it? Popped right out of my fucking hand right when I had it. Oh, God. Tiny ass little piece. You rip it. Please tell me you didn't fall on the floor. No, that happened earlier. Good deal, man. You've been working on any big projects? Just getting armies done, man. And, uh... After I finish this guy tonight, I'm going to probably stream it all, but I am I got a little gift from my boy. got a friend of mine that 3D printed this since they don't make any toys. I don't know if you know anything about Trash Truck, but I'm going to be painting this guy up for my kid for Christmas, my little four-year-old. I just got to do some more filler and stuff. I mean, he's not going to care, but... Yeah, it's from the Netflix TV show. So, I'll prime it a little more tomorrow and then I'll get to painting it. He'll love it, I think. Go sucked. I feel that. I'm almost done with my Saras 2's Lancer and have a ton of 30k Iron Warriors and 40k Blood Angels to finish up. Nice. I don't know how many points I've got just sitting in the box, unopened, ready to go. I don't even want to so, talk about that. <laughs> yeah, you're the safe boat I am, Rick. God damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you have no idea what boat I'm in. I'm in the fucking Titanic, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm telling you, you should go go back and look at my first video. I'm almost done with the Logan vs. Abaddon diorama from Fort Lee World. I'm painting it for my dad as a Christmas gift. Go sucked. LMAO, your hoard of minis is second to none. Yeah. <laughs> well, Aleph, who's on our Discord right now with us, does, he, he's never seen it, I don't think. So. I haven't seen the, Oh, no, I've seen your video of all the army. Yeah, it's huge. Did you see all the unopened boxes? Yes, you have shown me your pile of shame. It's not a pile of shame, it's a connex of shame. It's a fucking <laughs> a tra 53 foot tractor trailer. 18 wheeler, yeah. What a hero. Yeah. You boys up for a heist? <laughs> I love that name. Yeah. Damn it, I cannot figure out how to get this. I mean, I feel like I get it, but. I actually started my own eBay store to sell off minis that I don't want to paint anymore, and then that's turned into me buying and flipping minis, lol. <laughs> I was going to say, I was just about to say, yeah, right, you're going to buy more, and then you said that. That's hilarious. I sold a bunch of stuff, man, before I met my wife, because I thought I was going to get out of the hobby. I mean, tons. Lul, I sell so I can buy more. Plastic crackhead math game is strong. Yep. Truth. Yeah, well, he's getting me into it now, so the hell with all of y'all. <laughs> hey, that's not my fault. <laughs> you bullshit. That was your, <laughs> your fault. You listened to him. You're the sales guy. You're supposed to know all these tactics and avoid them. Yeah, well, I've been wanting to, and he's like, I'll help you, man. Yeah, just... Just try it once, man. It's okay. Yeah, yeah it's a sample. Here, it's okay. It's a sample. <laughs> it's a sample. Sniff, sniff this little bit of plastic. It's okay. You smell that? It's got the new product smell. Mm, yeah. It's got that new glue smell on it. Your first hit is always free. <laughs> yeah, no shit. What well, isn't that how Games Workshop does it? You go in there, they give you, oh man, don't worry, here's your first figure. It's yep, free. free figure, free painting lesson. Yeah, yeah, you know, what could go wrong, bro? I've never, I never got to partake in that, though, to be honest with you. I'm trying to decide which I need more, the mat or the, the lenses. Lenses? The okay, the, the light thing. Head mount magnifier and shit. Yes, Get that's that your that's your first priority. Okay, because I'll probably need that assembling some of that shit with my blind ass. So I was thinking. You were painting okay. when dinosaurs were still young. 
<laughs> Who the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> He's a friend of mine. <laughs> Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Yeah. Who's next? No, he's, he's a friend of mine. He's good to go. You're cool, you're cool. Uh, you're cool, you cool, you cool. Fuck you, I'm fuck out. You. Yeah. What is what is that from? I can't remember now. But there's this really cool video of this guy like going around the room, and he's like, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool. And he's like fist bumping some guy then he hugs another guy then he like shies away from a third one i think that's the uh, i don't know he was in a restaurant yeah yeah i just can't remember what the name of it is oh oh i know what it is it's fucking dazed and confused okay go south i disappear for a year mm -hmm. and come back i'm about to do something fucking head. stupid I'm yeah like, this is the way 10 p.m he's in there Let's see, I feel like something's... Oh yeah, I definitely need the one with four LED lights. <laughs> I never so, use those. I just... I, I will, my blind ass. I mean, not with this light, you know. Well, yeah, till I get the light. Unfortunately, it was on back. When I looked into it, I was going to get that today. It was on back order. It is? I just got it in. Maybe I got the last one. Got the last one, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> you know what? I hope you get that but poke. Poke again. I hope you hump, hump, and hump. Yeah. I hope you don't get that laundry gig. I hope Manny get it because your ass need to hump, hump, hump and hump. Hump, hump, and hump. <laughs> Dude, if you haven't ever seen the movie Hamburger Hill, the war mo Vietnam movie Hamburger Hill, watch it. Well, that one's Platoon. That's right. That's right. I, I, you always know, run them together in my head. Yeah. I really do. The Hamburger. One of my, Go ahead. Yeah, one of my favorite speeches, though, is like when they're coming off the hill and he goes, what are you fucking doing here, newsman? I, I'm just asking how the war is. You asking how the war is? He says... I got more respect for those little bastards up on the hill. At least they take a fucking side. You, you probably don't even do your own fucking. You probably don't even do your own fucking. That and the, when he's doing, this is Han. Yeah. <laughs> he's here on the ch and you and I have both gotten briefings like that in country, man. And he will That's be hunting your young asses in the a shot when he's done with the free, Yeah, when he's done with the Chew Oi program. The worst part is, is my mother's brother was in that fucking valley. Three fucking tours. Hmm. God, I damn. never knew why Uncle Manny, Uncle Manny, wherever you're at, I'm sorry. I never quite understood why you were so fucked up. Go sucked. Imagine going back to Nam three times. Dude, Trust. he... I didn't understand it until years and years later. Years, because he died in the 70s. Um, it was literally that he was the, the example of the when he was home, he couldn't wait to get back. When he was there, he couldn't wait to get home. Yeah. He didn't know... He didn't fit in anywhere. But at least there, he was a tunnel rat for a while. And that, if oh, you don't know God. what that is, that's a fucking mess of a job. Because that he was a little... Fuck. He was like five foot five and skinny as shit. So he could go down after those bastards. But, uh, yeah. yeah. He was a fucking mess. Clearly missing something here. Where's the... Yeah, so they didn't tell me about that part. Awesome. 38. Hang on. This is our fucking war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the thing. I mean, I mean, after all that shit in Vietnam and then... You and I, my fucking war. My fucking war. <laughs> at ease, at ease. This is our fucking war. <laughs> the shit we saw of Badger, I mean, it was like, I can't believe they never learned their fucking lesson. Nope. That's all I can nope. say. My grandfather was even the, did the same thing when we were pulling out. He's like, what the fuck? I did this exact same fucking mm -hmm. shit. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm, I'm just glad all my family that have been in Vietnam were long gone. Because there would have been some fucking rage moments. For That's sure. 
That's why I got out, man. I, I saw it in 2010. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. Yeah. Shit fucking sucks, boys. Yeah. Well, you know, they keep at it. They're going to have another one. Well, and they this need. They're going to fucking Yemen. Yeah. That, is, that, that ain't going to happen. Yeah, they'll, they'll carpet bomb that fucking place. Yeah, there won't be no reason to go to Yemen. That's like a, that's like a fucking, dude, you could send a fucking postal carrier in a fucking plane and take care of that shit. I was gonna say, there's more danger going to that NTC or fucking 29 stumps than that. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> 29 stumps. <laughs> yeah, I had a Marine correct me on that one years ago, man. He goes, don't call it fucking 20, ain't no goddamn palm trees in that place. Nope. <laughs> fucking 29 stumps. <laughs> I thought I was the only one that called it 29 Stumps LMAO. Well, the Army calls it 29 Stumps, we call it 29 Palms, and there ain't no fucking palm trees there. <laughs> well, we got our own. We have the National Training Center. Yeah. Oh, my God, what a shithole. Yep, I've been there. What a miserable-ass place. Did you, well, did, you get, did you get to see the turtle fucking bordello? Uh, no, I was there contracting, <laughs> but I know that most of the cadre there are fucking idiots. They found a, they found Gosh. a breed of turtle that apparently is only known in that part of California. Well, I mean, we have that, we, I think it's that turtle in 29 awesome. Palms. My buddy was in well, they said it was only at NTC, so apparently this turtle got around quite got a bit. A contractor gig at 29 and he wanted to die. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. But they literally, right in the middle of the training area, fenced a big up, big old fucking mud hole off and said, this is where the turtles live. You can't go in here. Don't think about it. I don't care if you're dying. Do not go past that fence. Right. And we used to make jokes about basically it was a giant turtle whorehouse. <laughs> May as well, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, literally, it's like, okay, I don't care if you're dying, true, but don't disturb the fucking turtles. Fuck the turtles, don't leave the, don't yeah. fuck the turtles. You go into that fuck. you break that fence line, go sucked. you're over. Your when fucking career's gone. Pee, I always felt bad for the poor bastards that yeah. got orders to 29 LOL. Huh. Yep. 29 Palms, no joke, dude. There's nothing there. Even if you got Liberty and you went out in town, there ain't nothing there. Yeah, it's like NTC. Where the fuck are you going to go? you got to fucking drive forever to get somewhere. God help you. What? I mean, you could get to Vegas if you had enough time, but shit. Yeah, I was going to say, God help you, though, if you were fucking late coming back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're dead. Damn, this boy came to play. He brought an Augie one without the freaking foregrip on and no sight. This man is stunned. Okay, so I didn't have my fucking magnifier by Friday. Cool. Dude, boy brought NBGs to... Oh, my Lord. Oh, giant cat on my chest. <laughs> Big kitty. Oh, when this boy wants attention, this boy wants attention. But when he doesn't, you know. Oh, he always wants attention. This this cat is like a <laughs> fucking giant dog. Oh, pet the kitty. I don't have a choice, man. He he like basically stands. Up. I could be sitting in my chair. He's so big, he can stand up and put his paws on my shoulder, sitting in a desk. Ah, he's that's the best. He's even big ass cat. Um, Norwegian forest. Oh, so basically same thing. Yeah. Big he, ass cat. Yeah, but he doesn't quite know it. He's last I weighed him, he's 23 pounds. He's a big boy. And he doesn't know. He still thinks he's that little kitten that I brought home 12 years ago. He could fit in the palm of my hand. He doesn't quite realize Aww. he's the size of a fucking dog. <laughs> right, bud? He doesn't realize he's the size of a whole house dog. Pretty much. I mean, my neighbor across the street, he's got two little rat dogs that are like five pounds a piece. I'm just, what I'm just barking at me, I'm like, you know my cat shit's bigger than here, right? You know that. 
I know, I have little rat dogs barking me all the time, you know, but oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, stupid? What are you going to do, fight me? One of them got loose and was running at our back patio. Oh, and, no. and, and Bear was out on the patio, and he just stood up and looked at that dog, and the dog slammed on the brakes like, man. Oh, I stared. How does that meme go? I, I, I work the odds, but damn, am I bad at math or something like that? Huh. <laughs> That's literally what that dog did. He was like, Massive. I've seen this cat stare down snakes. Slight miscalculation. <laughs> but no, we had we had a fucking snake one time came right up to the patio and it stood up in the air and bear sat up and just stared at it and was like, What are you? Fucking danger noodle? Go away. Danger noodle. What are you gonna do, stupid? Do something. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just a little, yeah, it's just a little black garter snake, but he didn't know that. He was just staring at him like, "That's the stupidest looking worm I've ever seen." Say, father, what is this stupid looking creature? And I'm like, "Bear, come on, come on, bud, come on." He's like, "I don't know, come," because he chases lizards. The lizards. I'm down in Florida, so the lizards we get down here get pretty good size. I yeah, like the toke geckos and all that big ass lizards. Yeah, he'll fucking chase them. He'll go after him and grab him in his mouth. And then he'll just stand there like, okay, now we'll Yeah, Henry, my my Heinz 57 over here, he does that. Bites bees out of the air. So my, he likes the jalapeno sky raisins? Yeah, my, my <laughs> German shepherd used to do that. That's thing. funny. He'd snap at fucking bees and then they'd sting him in the mouth and he'd look at me like, Dad, it stuck my mouth. Jalapeno Sky Raisin. I like that. That's good. Jalapeno Sky Raisin. Dude, that's as bad as calling a fucking crow a soul chicken. You do not, you do not talk bad about crows. I love crows. Soul chicken. That's what we call them, soul chickens. Do they go in there and say, I sh do they go in and say, I show is hungry? Let me get one real. <laughs> You never heard of Soul Chicken, dude? That's the new one, man. That's a new one for me, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, my, I got my dad with that one because we were out at Hallandale Beach Boulevard putting a boat in to go fishing one year. I was on leave and fucking Soul Chicken fucking landed on a goddamn electrical wire and fucking grounded himself and fucking fried. Just pow! You know, and fell in the water. And dad's like, holy shit. And I was like, well, if we act now, we can eat that soul chicken. He said, what the shit did you just say? I bet that's better than ha I bet that thing's better than ham and motherfuckers. <laughs> it's, better, it's better than jambalaya. <laughs> jambalaya. <laughs> jambalaya. I, I had a TC. That's how he said it. He was from, like, I don't know, two bumps in the road in Mississippi. And that's what he called it. Was jambalaya. Two bumps in a road. Two bumps in a road in Mississippi. Two bumps in a road, Jesus, Lord. Yeah, you ever been down there? You've been about a dozen of those times. I've eaten worse food out of a retort. And then they always have the stupid speed limits when you go from like 60 to 25. And that's how they pay for the town, don't you? I'll tell you, if I, if the, if it was different times where I didn't have to worry about fucking, you know, being called some kind of fucking dumbass racist or some shit, I'd probably name my channel Soul Chicken. <laughs> Wait, Badger. Soul chicken, and soul chicken minis? Yeah. Badger is old enough to remember. Soul Tree! Chicken! Yeah. Just have somebody do the intro. Soul Chicken! Oh, I would do it. Have the train going in the background. <laughs> it's just a train full of crows. Yeah. The soup. I also. The one I like for crows is the Suka Sparrow. Suka Sparrow. Five means summon. Yes. Is it? Yeah, we're just picking them up. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Sure. <laughs> My family, everybody. What, what happened? Let me dog, let me dog it on anybody's hearing aids. Hey, ask oh, him if he'll go outside and see if that soul chicken's all right. So <laughs> you're gonna be like, what the hell? Make sure the soul chicken's alright. I, I gotta tell my buddy that. 
telling you, dude. Hey, my buddy David, hey, Dave, you ever heard of a soul chicken? No, no, don't, don't do it that way, dude. Wait till you see some crows. Let's say, dude, uh -huh. check out the fucking size of these soul chickens. <laughs> just leave it like that and just watch the face. Hey, bro, the chicken over here. <laughs> I wish I wish my friend Mitch was still alive. I'd, I'd, I'd write, I'd say to me, hey, Mitch, yeah. You ever heard of Soul Chicken? Shut your white ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up. Shut your white bitch ass <laughs> We were the first friends each other had from a different race. And that was the funniest shit, man. He was like... He might not have heard of it, to be honest with you. I don't know. That would be the fun... Well, he, he's gone now, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry. God rest his soul. You know how it goes. Yep, goes, I do. Yep, I know how it goes. Meanwhile, you're over here cutting crack deals with my wife to get all my fucking minis when you fucking off me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a surprise. Alof thinks I'm joking. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you what. I'll pay you. I love you too, I'll pay you. What he said there were. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that joke might work if I hadn't already bought them. You know? And if I hadn't sat here and taught her how to buy me stuff and go, look, don't buy from fucking GW. This is where you buy from. But, where, you know. Where do you usually buy from? Amazon or something else? Uh, Warpfire Minis right now. I used to buy from the War St Neil at the War Store and then um, and Amazon. I'll. Or eBay. I buy everywhere for, but GW unless I have to. What fire minis? Don't you? Yeah, they're in Florida in Ocala. Oh, shit. I, I, I can drive, so I can, I can I drive there for an hour. Workshop. Hell, you might want to go there and just see what the hell they got there. I was they just going to say, I could go there in about an hour, so. They might even have fucking, go? uh, might even have gaming going on there. Hey, honey, we got, we got a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> she said, fuck no. Well, ga Games Workshop's in Orlando. I know that. No, what if it's a nice store? I got GW here in Zentura. Ten thousand Oaks. I got two stores here. Yeah, going into a big, friendly local gaming store to scope out minis is the best. My wife's so weird. She's never been to a Bucky's in her life, and she wants to see. A... Never have I. There's, there's now two Bucky's in Florida. Yeah, that's what I hear. Holy shit, they're in Florida now. Yeah, yeah. So apparently they got wants, great she, fucking benefits too. Yeah, she wants to go to a Bucky. She's I, I used to travel in Texas all the time for for business. So. Starting to rethink my uh, career options. I mean, you could be the manager of a car wash and fucking make like I think it's like one twenty five or two hundred. Something, something, like something like that. Hundred twenty five thousand a year to manage a fucking car wash. Damn! What the fuck? That's like firefighter pay. Fuck me. Plus benefits. Plus you know stock options. Hey, yo, what the actual fuck? Yeah, man. Fuck damn. You gotta check it out, dude. Oh look! Holy shit, man! They got fucking horse heresy sets. Necromundus? John Warhammer, what? Exactly. Hey, John Warhammer? Wait a minute. Horace who? Yeah. No shit. Oh, God. Fucking Shay. Hortense Luberderm, you said? <laughs> Hortense Luberderm? Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, this is a... Uh... Oh, man, this, this is a horrible story. So... Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it. Gonna be a bad fucking day. Yeah, I didn't know they had a G. Well, I know, they got a GW store about thirty minutes north of me. But I wonder what the one Horus in Orlando Heresy is, is like. Listen to me, I am in charge now. Get the Horus Heresy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's scamming you. Shut up. He's like, I am the captain now. Look at me. Okay, Warhammer, Winter Park. Age not found. That's, that's not good. What happened? Well, I went, to, I went to the Warhammer Winter Park store, which is near Orlando, and it says, Age not found. Ah, uh, they closed down shops all the time and reopened again. 
Sci-Fi City in Orlando, Central Florida's largest game workshop retailer. Yeah. You'll pay full retail, though. Age not found. Huh. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, maybe they, maybe they fucking don't exist. Should be crap oh, shit. Yeah. Warp fires there, so. That's who I just got this uh, Death Leaper model and uh, new Farsight model from. Okay. I'll they got it here in that. like, I don't know, two, three days. Okay, so the Novitiate kit, they're out of, holy shit, it's the same price as Amazon. And I could drive up and pick it up. Yeah. Well, if you do, tell them Angry Badger Mini sent you. <laughs> no, they know. Or they should know. Hell, I fucking tag them every time I make a purchase on Twitter. That fucker owes me money. Yeah, right. Maybe there's an issue since GW just redid their website and sometimes it stores you GWs as their address. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Well, considering the fucking website's trash. Oh, God, that looks like Oh, the new website fucking sucks. Dude. They wasted six million on that shit, dude. That was six million? Yeah. Bro, my autistic ass could learn how to code and probably make something more... Dude, better. you don't even have to code that. You could get on GoDaddy and do that shit in fucking half an hour. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? GW is absolutely stunned. Okay, two hour... It's a two hour drive to work on. Yeah, and well, like I said, I'm all the way up here, you know, in Virginia, and they got me my shit in two working days, basically, so. Not too bad. Nope. Yeah, it might be faster just to ship it, to be honest. Chaos Knight for 157. I believe it was free shipping, too. Yeah, I believe it does. Man, it's a lot of fiddly little parts. Age of Smegma. Captain Smeg. Bane Blade. Go sucked. I noticed that on call. Not an easy looking build. No. All this stuff is super fragile. Whoops, didn't mean to hit that. Go sucked. So many fiddly bits and doodads. Oh, yeah. Shit. Well, and you kind of got to figure how or who you want, like what you want to put first so that you can get your damn fingers in there. Like this little arm right there. I probably should have put that on first for when he's over here, you know, typing on his fucking iPad. But I didn't. Isn't that cool, though? Hold on. Let me see if I can... Yeah, there you go. Go sucked. That's pretty sweet. I haven't taken a super close look at this model. Most people don't. Let's see. I'm trying to remember where this goes. I wish they would show you like a the back of the thing, but they never do. Oh, it goes underneath. Okay. Go sucked. The 40k admin line has some awesome minis, but some of it just looks too goofy for me. Yeah. Yeah, admin does have some pretty cool stuff. Oh, dropped. So, let's see here.
That was for all of you to shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Damn, something happened. Ah, it's just a dog. Dog barking is all. I jumped out of my skin. Oh, I wasn't even loud. <laughs> I didn't put any Marine Corps in it. Not enough Marine Corps. Not enough Marine Corps. Boy, did you take these at your age place before? Yeah, the guy half. Did you take me last week or two weeks ago? I took you last time. Yeah, like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. However long it was, I think so, yes. Okay. So it's not Hampshire Rosa? I don't remember. It might be. Okay. That guy just wants to be part of the stream. Yeah. So my bad. Does. Do what? I said, yeah, my old man does, I guess, huh? He wants to be like, you fuckers! <laughs> Goddamn kids back in my day! <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna be 50 next year. Well, uh, you gonna get it soon, son. Oh, I can't wear contact force with Price's hat. Sweet! <coughs> <coughs> Hurry up and glue, damn it. <coughs> James underscore the underscore stunt master. I'm a Lord of the Rings mini tourist painter. Right on. How is that game? <coughs> I've seen it here and there, but I've never really gotten to play it. Yeah, how is it? Yeah, I've never played it. How is it? Always a scab on a reserve run. Because it's just been sitting. James underscore the underscore stud master. I have not played the game, I just paint the minis right now. Have you had a chance to look at the rules at all? Like, are they... I mean, I've heard that they were... I don't know. I've heard that it was literally the best rules that Games Workshop ever made. But good things about the Lord of the Rings game rules wise. Yeah, that's what I heard. It was the best rules they've ever made. I've just never had an opportunity to look at them. I don't own them either, but... Uh... Speaking of Lord of the Rings, something kind of stupid for my Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there. There's a guy who does like a, a a Rick and Morty shorts channel on YouTube where he's having Rick like duel Yu-Gi and Kaiba and all these other people. And he has oh, one sir. right now where Morty is playing a Harry Potter deck and, and Rick is playing a Lord of the Rings like themed uh, Yu-Gi-Oh deck. I was looking at the Iron Hills Dwarves. Um... What do I like to paint? <laughs> um, that's a hard question. Uh, <clears throat> all I can tell you is, if you were to go to my YouTube channel <clears throat> and look at the very first video, maybe that would explain why it's a hard question. Um, I, other than Lord of the Rings, I, for the most part, well, and other than Votan, I own everything. And multiple of almost everything. Go soft. That was directed towards James, but your answer was welcome. Oh, my bad. I thought it was saying James, like James was talking. I was trying to look past the camera. My bad. <laughs> my bad. I'll <laughs> shut up now. Oh, my bad. I see what you mean. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't you. I... Your name was blocked by my camera and my light bar, so I, all I saw was the at James thing. I thought maybe that was you or him. You or him. What the hell? How dare you speak on your own stream, L U L. I know, right? What the fuck's wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with you? How dare you, streamer? How dare you be social, you piece of shit? You know shit. <laughs> Where the hell does this microphone or this fucking speaker go. I forgot all about this damn thing. 
Look, look, it's one of these speakers, like something you'd see today. Look at this stupid thing. James underscore the underscore stud master. I heard the rules were really good. I am gonna be getting the battle of a skillet box get like mortar and gun door and the rule book surface to play on. Ruins and dice 160 euro. I'm from Ireland myself. Nice. Where does this go? I don't even see it. I could have swore it was like on some kind of and like cable or something. Go south. Those are some sweet minis at James underscore the underscore stud master. Where the hell is this part? I don't see it. <clears throat> it's got to be on this page somewhere. Huh. I mean, I guess I could run downstairs and look at the other one I put together, but... see it go south that instruction guide for just one minute is like the size of the entire Leviathan oh that's why I don't see it out. it's on this side Duh. yeah this this instruction manual sucks ass I ain't gonna lie all right all right all right what are we doing here so we're gonna get James underscore the underscore stud master I have all the battle hosts if you want to get into Lord of the Rings, either get the Battle of a Skillet Box or go for one the Battle Hosts. The Gundor one is cool, get new moldings of main characters. That's awesome. I have to wait. I'd have to wait until basically I finish everything else and see if I even have room to put any minis anywhere. Nice, just found an AK-101. Do what? I just found an AK-101 on my scav, right? 5.56 five, AK. Ah. Alright, at least we're almost done with this beast. think yeah I only have the third part to a contemptor dreadnought some crazy inquisitor and another necron lord or something from the imperial magazine set and that's it left to do whenever they come in and then that's it for that and then we can move on to putting in all our putting the rest of our new necrons together from that set. Finish that up. Put all the Gene Stealers from the Space Hulk box sets together. Put 15 Imperial Knights together. James underscore the underscore stud master. There is a Tyranids V Marine starter box I want to get. I love Tyranids cause I'm big fan of alien movies. You talking about the the Leviathan box set? Whatever you do, don't buy it off a of Games Workshop. Get it off of Amazon, eBay, or somewhere else. If you're in the States, maybe check out Warpfire Minis. They might even have the Leviathan box set still. I'm not affiliated with them or anything. I don't like get any kind of kickback or anything. I just buy from them. And they've been pretty good to me, so... Maybe you can tell them I sent you. Maybe they'll sponsor this tiny little channel with something. I have no idea. Go south. 
Oh sweet I actually picked up the latest Space Hulk box and got some of the Kill Team Terrain Space Hulk style terrain to make a big gaming board for it. Latest Space Hulk? What are you talking about? They released another one? James underscore the underscore stud master. Shipping would be expensive to come all the way to Ireland lol from USA. Oh that's right, yeah, sorry. The one from like 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. What did it cost you? Oh my god, I just broke that. Really? That's how fragile that was? <sighs> god, you gotta be kidding me. I was putting that much pressure on it. Go sucked. I got it for a steal. It was sitting with my FLGS for two hundred dollars. Oh yeah, you did. I think someone had it for a while and then went to resell it and didn't know the value. Yeah, you definitely got it for a steal. That's easily a four hundred dollar box set. Nice. Well, these days it didn't start out selling that way, but freaking scalpers you know James underscore the underscore stud master cool thing about Lord of the Rings mini tours is some of them are metal they are white metal go sucked they go for like 350 to 400 dollars on eBay in mint condition yeah I have eight boxes uh yeah well I've opened two of them. Go sucked. Eight boxes LMAO, you savage, I love it. <laughs> Space Hulk, I love everything about it except the game. I don't play the game. <laughs> <So> <laughs> I know that makes no sense. Uh, although I do I do like Deathwing, the, the PC game, or whatever, the video game. Yeah, it was a great way to get those nice new Terminators, new Gene Stealers, you know. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with eight box sets of tiles, because I have my, I've made my own, if you look on my videos, you'll see I made my own Space Hulk board. Um, I even took, uh... Go those Terminator sculpts are still amazing to this day. Yep. I, st I took some Sector Mechanicus stuff and I made molds for it. You'll have to check that video out. Oh yeah. Just type in Space Hulk or something and it'll probably pop up. You'll, I mean, it's a board that I've built and tore apart, I think, at least five times and rebuilt. Um, and it's made out of rain gutter. It gives you a more 3D feel to the game rather than... Uh, and you can play it 40K style. I got my own rules and everything. Um, rather than, you know, the square by square action points deal. So I finally watched that video of the Yemeni, Yemeni army. Yeah. I noticed something I didn't notice the first time. They're flat betting all their tanks. Yes. <laughs> Somebody's like... What are the old flat pads? I said, they don't fucking James run. Underscore, underscore stud master. I also do model railways too. I am making Irish model railway in 1.76.2 scale. Nice. It's a scale popular in Republic of Ireland and UK. Yeah. Irish model nice. trains are in 1.76.2. I think it's N scale, isn't it? Or is that HL? Uh, for us... Mm, I think it's I think it's in scale. I think it's in scale. <laughs> it's ho scale. Is it H O scale? I don't know. Oh, it's H O scale. That's gonna be That's massive. James It'll be like that one place in Germany that has like all the uh... some trains, and I'm so tempted to get one. I always get nervous when they start tr Germans start talking about trains, master. though. Huh? Zero zero uh, uh -oh. gauge is bigger than both. <laughs> oh, that's a bad joke. That's not funny. Well, I did not see that coming. That is not very kosher of you. 
instantly demonetized. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if he wasn't Bam. demonetized, he is now. Banned. Just, just banned. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not even, I don't, I don't even rate any money. You go to hump, hump, and hump. <laughs> Ow. I hope to God this just slips over his head, because if it doesn't, I'm in trouble. Let's find out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, it does not. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, shit. Yeah, there's this absolutely insane model train place in Germany. I forgot where it is. It's called Little Wonderland. They have, like, they got a U.S. section, a European section. It's all, like, model trains. They have a working airport. Yeah. A plane will come in from outside and land and taxi and do all this cool stuff. Yeah, they have, that's the one where they actually did the Millennium Falcon as well. Yeah, you can see, like, an X-Wing or a Millennium Falcon and various other, like, sci-fi uh, planes come in. Yep, I know that one. And that one's so... I would love to go visit that one day. Ah, boy, this is... testing my... patience tonight. It really is. Jesus. This thing's kicking your ass. Oh, my God. Come on. Ooh, another scab flare. Oh my god, get over there. You son of a bitch. Ah, everything's freaking... If it isn't slipping out of my hands, it's sticking to my hands. God damn it. What a pain in the ass. I have a ton of cleanup to do. You're really making me excited about modeling, Badger. <laughs> well, your sister's a battle ain't gonna be like this, I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. They're a lot easier. Cool. 73 grams are left over. Go sucked. I'm going to call it a night. Was nice catching up with you, man. Yeah, man. Got a full day of VA appointments, TMMW. Oh, boy. God bless. I understand that, man. Take it easy. Good luck, you hero. Enjoy the VA. Good to see you again. Remember, they care James about you. Underscore the underscore stud master. Another thing, zero, zero, Gage uses ho track. So if you wanted to do Irish track to scale, you'd need to hit 21 millimeters in width between the rails, but that would mean making your own custom tracks. Oh, that'd be a, oh no, we're not we're not gonna make custom tracks. <laughs> we're not doing show. that. Just just so use the HO, take the out. The VA enjoys use me. I don't enjoy them. Yeah, I know, dude. Also, I want to choke slam you for calling me a hero, LMAO. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Later. Jesus. Later. That's awesome. I now have a use for maybe a use for my tweezers. If I can find them. Oh my Ooh, god. Maybe. I thought I saw them on the front right of your desk. Right above where you Oh yeah, here they are. So I can hold this together. Yeah, there's your crazy glue, there's your stick, and then there's some tweezers right next to your... Oh my god, I could have pushed it on there? Are you serious? You fucking... I can't find anywhere it says 
Well, it's 28 millimeter. <clears throat> I could have actually done this and slipped it on. I, didn't, I thought it wasn't going on. I didn't want to force it. Ain't that some shit. Uh, I'm already angry for you. Fucking dick. So I guess I understand. So what is the problem then? Oh, there, there is no problem now. Well, yeah, there is no problem now. Now, I needed the tweezers to keep my fingers from sticking to his front face thing or whatever you want to call this right. fucking thing that he speaks into. James underscore the underscore stud master. This seems like bitch to put together instructions could be more clear for you in the manual seems they're unclear. Well, it does say experienced Mahler, so... Since I'm a, a freaking tard, we'll just go with that. I don't know anything about putting models together. Never done it before. Tourist. <laughs> Tourist. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely me. Uh, let's see. I know where this goes. 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 I know where this goes, but I have no idea where this goes. And I think it's on this page. It is. Of course it is. Oh, you bitch. And it's on the fucking head, too. God damn it. Oh, God. Is it like Carl's crown or whatever? No, it's just some stupid wires coming out of his head onto it, like, and back into his head. Dude, have you ever noticed that, like, with the tech priests and stuff, those wires are so fucking finicky, they break at any opportune moment? That's what's been happening this whole time. I've been fixing more than I've been putting on. Building. Yeah. Oh, brother. Mm. Bitch, come on. Oh my god. I know what the problem is. I want to be done. So I'm essentially rushing everything. If that makes sense. And that's yep. your downfall. Yep. But, as you can see from these instructions, it's not exactly telling me where things go. So maybe this... I don't know where yeah, this buddy. Black tip 308, let's go. I don't know. Because this goes on here. Go. In that hole, maybe? Yep. You fucking prick. I hate your guts. You are gonna get shot with every bolt gun I can muster. I may even use the dice I use to cheat in tournaments. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, you, you must have heard that uh, Northern Exile. I did, yeah. Dude had the fucking dices of old, the dice of old sixes. Oh my god, these are dice are lucky. Let's do that again. <laughs> that was great. He busted shop, that dude's balls big time. The shop owner was awesome. Yep. Is there something you'd like to tell me? <laughs> Is there something you wish to share with the rest of the class? 
That dude raided that, though. He was a complete fucking prick. He raided an ass kicking, is what he That's did. true, that's true. He did raid an ass kicking. Like, bro, you have to be that much of a fucking degen to cheer at a tournament. Like, fuck off. Look, this is this is how call call talks through his fucking you know nineteen sixty speaker. No. Simply <laughs> born into the admit. Dude, I had one of those locomotion and halt it terminated. In the fucking hour. In ninety one when we got ready to jump across the fucking border into Iraq. I had two speakers, 50 watts each, just like that, mounted on my fucking tank. <laughs> we were just blasting fucking music the whole way. Nice. No fucks to go. And then when we were taking the Iraqi prisoners, we kept playing music, and they, they were begging us to shut it off. Dude. They hated heavy metal music. Oh, yeah. Fucking spies them. So <laughs> I took it with them. Well, it's it's very foreign to them. Um, so I took that information when I went back and mm-hmm. over for you know big push and fucking thunder run. And I used that information to my fucking benefit. Yeah, gee, what? Try some ACDC. I fucking love it. this officer telling me this music is degenerate yeah well who's the fucking prisoner here oh shit nobody gives a fuck about you Haji <laughs> kicked your ass demonetized <laughs> damn kicked your ass 13 years ago and I kicked your ass again okay where the fuck does this go I did have one guy that was actually a lieutenant at the battle I was in He was fucking colonel. See, look at look at these instructions, okay? God, take take awesome. a look at this right here. It tells you that this wire goes back here behind this, right? Okay. But you never see where it actually goes. That would have required an extra. <laughs> oh, my God, GW. Okay. Some of these are just absolutely stunned. GW, eat a dick, eat a dick. Big old dick. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Okay. All right, I found it. So there's a spot right here on the back. That's what these are. It's how-to videos anyway. And the wires go there, and then you put the arm in the socket, or vice versa. But you can see where it goes underneath there. There's a tiny little indentation. Oh my god. Dude. I'm trying not to break all these little fiddly parts, so I'm, I can't really... I, I, I understand, but I'm just saying it looks like just a cluster. Oh, it, oh, it is. It's, <laughs> I'm dude, just looking at a camera. I'm like, oh my dude, god. It's, like, it's like breaking out Christmas lights. 20,000 imported Italian twinkle lights. They're not twinkling, Clark. Thank you for noticing that. Oh, Jesus. Thanks, Art. Now, I left this walking stick, as if he needs it, okay, for the end because of how it's going to be on the base, and I want it to actually touch the ground. So, what I'm going to do now... I'm going to attach the upper bo- upper torso to the lower torso, or upper receiver to lower receiver. Let's call it that, All right? And okay. once we're done with that, assuming we don't break anything, I will lightly glue the thing to the base. Okay, that fit in there pretty easy. Pretty self-explanatory. And for those of you that are new to the channel watching this, the reason that I don't glue much on to the base 
is because I want to do the base later. And so I can pop that off real easy, if that makes sense. And then we have this last arm that I want to actually be on the ground, like touching the ground. So now that I've got a, a, a portion of where I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and, if you notice, this tiny little triangle thing, that's what this arm connects to. Now you would think, oh, you don't have to worry about touching the ground because it's, you know, it's going to, it's going to slot in there. Let me tell you, that's not how this works. It will not slot evenly. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll hold it glued for just a little bit till it holds. We got our, our marker spot, right? And then with the weight of the model on there, that will put it on the ground just like I want. Perfectly measured. And now this stupid, oh, it's shit, it ain't done. God damn it. We, for, we forgot this piece that I've been trying not to break the whole time. This little floating servo, servo skull back here holding up his wire. I got your wire, sir. So now I gotta go all the way back to here and look at where this go. Oh shit, I just screwed up. Big time. Big time. Uh, well, maybe not. Hold on, let me see. I might be able to get him apart. <sighs> okay, I got him apart. Yay! So this wire, for some reason, was not under there. And now this servo skull connects in here. That's why I... Okay, so... Damn, GW, that's a horrible model build, dude. So the whole time you'd be putting this together, you'd have to deal with this jackass hanging off the back and try not to break it. Because this goes underneath all of that. Jesus Christ. Come on. Oh, yeah. Get in there. You love it. And Slim says, you love the adversity. Come on, work with me. Yes, 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 no, no! Oh my god, come on dude, there we go. Hold, hold, hold! Yeah, so the whole time you're putting together, you would have to deal with that thing hanging off the back. And try not to break it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I broke the other one. I'm pretty sure of that. Alright, so let's put this idiot back on. Or put his thorax back on. Is that what we're calling this fucking thing? Yeah, because all of that's supposed to fit up in there, actually. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, God, that just looks like a headache. Oh, man. Oh, God. You fuck. Yeah, this is... I think this is why I never really see YouTubers build anything. They just paint. And they do it because they know they're going to be like, You motherfucker! And get demonetized. Mm -hmm. Absolutely get the yeah. God, I'm trying not to fucking I'm really trying not to break all this stuff. It is not playing ball right now. Come on. Come on. Oops. I think I got it. All right, I'm gonna have to hold it for a second. He, in fact, did not happen. Yeah. 
Nice. Let's just check around. I can't even, I'm looking at that right now. I can't even picture which way is up. Uh, this is up. If you say so, man, it looks like a fucking nightmare. This, only, this is up. I only got one question. Yeah. Go to bathroom and all that shit. Uh, I don't think he has to, or he, it all comes out of these little wires out the back. That's, that's, that's what the fucking servo skulls for. It's like, it's like somebody had pissed him off 200 years before. He's like, you're going to be my ass white. Hey, you remember no. Abomination? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to put some glue in here. you be my ass white service forever. For fucking ever. All right, let's go ahead and... How, how can I be your ass white service call? I don't have toilet paper. You said that. Right. <laughs> oh my god. We finally got him based. I'm gonna name him Turd Ferguson. <laughs> Ferguson? <laughs> yeah, Turd Ferguson. Yeah. All right. Good God. Six hours later. Ten hours, hours later. later. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not right now. I'm not. I, I think it drives Dan crazy. I think he just wants to drive up here. This is what he's supposed to look like. Split his paint, split his paint set, just start making your shit. That's Ooh, what he's supposed to look like. Look at Call with great backs in the back. There, I painted him, see? <laughs> hey, we painted him. Hey, that almost looks like Duncan Rhodes' work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind this model, that's somebody else's. <laughs> Ah, Admech is done until I find that resin call that I have to... Dude, that resin one is going to be a real bitch because that shit will break easy. Wait, there's a resin call? There was. Ew. Yeah, it didn't sell very very long. It's resin. It's a resin call. Yeah. Hold on. Jalapeno raisins. That's what you called it. I got to remember that. Yeah, jalapeno sky raisin. Sky raisin, that's it. Yeah, the flies are sky raisins, bees and wasps are jalapenos. Wait, no, bees are jalapeno sky raisin, wasps are habanero sky raisins. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's awesome. With an Asian giant hornets are ghost pepper sky raisins. But yeah, it was from the Gathering Storm box set. I had two of these box sets because I had bought one and then my wife bought one not knowing... So I have two two of the uh, Celestine models. Ooh, they are don't, put. What? Don't tell a certain person on Twitter you have two of Celestine. I'll get all excited. Who's that? I don't know if I should say on stream. <laughs> what, Biggie? No, 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 no. It begins with an X. An the X. certain person obsessed with Celestine. I don't think I know that person. Uh, I don't know that person. It's probably best. Yeah, I don't think I know anybody with an X. I got I got four of these guys now. I think this uh whatever the hell he is. And now we have thirty of these Skatari Rangers. Yeah, you you love building those. They weren't as bad as dipshit here. Yeah. I don't well, want to tell you this. Ryan, actually, I was lucky. I actually was able to find him in store. I think he got his head on upside down. Probably. <laughs> It'll have to Fuck. do. Fuck. 
Yeah. Nope, it'll have to do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Do you need to do anything? Hey, Mick. Long time no see, brother. Long time no see. You too, man. Merry Christmas. Mick was one of my very first subscriber watchers, if not the first, I think. And he plays Black Templar, I believe, if I remember correctly, over in Australia. Oh, well, we know all about the Black Templar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Black Templar. Well, they gotta be black. Racist no. Nazi! They're those... Those are Nazis. Yeah, Nazis. We, we know, we know, we know the truth. That's correct, mate. Thanks, baby. <laughs> Good to see you, man. I know I've been gone forever. It's like school and everything else got in the way, but I'm trying. We, I'm actually at the point now where I'm looking around and boxes are no longer there, and I'm just like, oh, man, I feel bad. Like, I'm not going to have anything to put together in a, in a little while at this oh, rate. shit. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen your fucking pile of shame. I don't Bitch, know. I don't you can start a fucking GW store with your pile of shit. What, what are you talking about? Oh, how about all those still sealed in plastic boxes? Like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> I want all of them assembled and painted, troop. Troop? <laughs> now paint your minis within one hour, troop. Do what? What you send your minis in a rapid vertical motion. Yeah, well, I am actually getting ready to paint something. Just not Warhammer. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm He's asleep, huh? Uh, no, but, I mean, I'm not going to paint it tonight. I still got to reprime, but it's too cold outside. This bad boy right here, trash truck. Trash truck! I had a buddy of mine, since they don't make this as a toy, he... Somebody had an STL file for th 3D printing, and he printed this off for me for my man, my little man, for Christmas. So I'm gonna, as soon as I get this primed, like the filler primer in there and base coated, I'll be painting this. Hopefully to get it done by Christmas. Pretty stoked. But I mean, the real trick is getting actual wheels on it. Nah, it's it. He doesn't care. He's four, dude. He just break that shit. Probably. <laughs> Thankfully, this thing's like, you know, a solid piece of FDM for the most part, so. Yeah. It, I mean, it ain't going to be perfect, but, and I think he'll love it. Because right now, hold on, let me see if I can find this thing for you guys. Yeah. This. Oh yeah, stud. By the way, I did see. All right. Well, I can't. I can't find the rest of it, but he's been running around with this, like it's trash truck from Trash Truck Christmas. <laughs> I gotta wait for it to catch up. Oh, wow! Look at that VW. Yeah, trash, it's a, trash truck. <laughs> yeah, so he's been running around with this with a couple of plastic reindeer on the front, like it's trash truck as the sleigh from the Trash Truck Christmas episode. So. <laughs> I can't. I can't have it. This pink hat. This pink has to go, dude. He's gonna lose this shit. Yeah. go. Yep. This thing, you know, it's gotta go. So. Well, we got. We got everything. Oh, yeah. We got everything we need for the colors. For the base coat. So. What I'll do is I'll hit it with this first the darker and then I'll hit it with a zenithal highlight with this from the top and then we'll you know then we'll do some a little a tiny bit of like you know streaking or whatever and then we'll get the paint in the face and all it's gonna be a really bare bones paint job I mean and then I've gotta gotta take this bad boy and freaking really coat it 
I mean, he doesn't chew on things, but you never know. You know what I mean? Plus, his sister's only two and a half, so. Um, What's the little princess getting? She's got all kinds of freaking presents, man. Like, <laughs> little man, all he wants is all some trash truck shit, Dad. Well, I mean, he can't tell me, you know, but I know that's what he wants, so. Yeah. And, it's uh, always easier buying for the boy than, than the girls. Well, I'm telling you, I am, like, me personally, I am so stoked to be able to give this to him. You know, I mean, it's... I'm, I'm as excited as I hope he will be. We'll put it that way. Good. So, and, and good. I'll put a... Let me show you guys what it's supposed to look like if you've never seen Trash Truck. Uh, where's the thing? Stand by. Stand by. Um, because I kept this as a picture for my wife to see. Um, all right, let me. Right. I'm on holidays until end of Jan, so I'll be able to get through my own pile of shame. All right, on. You probably actually have a real pile of shame. Like, the manageable kind. You mean like a truckload of shame? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. There you go. <laughs> so that's what Trash Truck really looks like. Oh, there he is. Uh, oh, I gotta put like the dirt and a little bit of rust and all that, dirty wheels on it. That's gonna be cool. Maybe, maybe over time, but I mean, initially I want to just get the main, you know, like his. Uh... You'll get enough dirt on it, trust me. Yeah, exactly, right? Oh, he's missing freaking the muffler. Oh, well. That's okay. He's not gonna notice. I'm gonna say, little man ain't gonna notice. No. You could probably make something out of some shit. Dude, that. I probably got fucking orc parts I could put on That's this bitch. I was bitch. gonna say, you could Hold put on. a fucking orc part on Hold there. on. Stand the fuck by. I got a bag of orc parts here. Let's see what the fuck we got in here. <laughs> the trash truck is actually the progenitor of all orc tech. This is all orc, orc bits. Bro, you don't even know. This whole... I got offered, like, I think 50 bucks for this bag. Not not even knowing what was in it. Some dude on Facebook. I was... I don't know. There's probably... I'm sure I got orc mufflers somewhere. You could totally get a crash truck into an orc truck in no time. <laughs> that would be funny as shit. Put some fucking orcs up oh, on shit. that. Hold on. Hold on. Little man's Have coming. fucking ride down top of them with some fucking shooters. <laughs> Truck beats the orc. Sorry, little man was on it was coming through. I didn't want him to see the truck. This is a three thousand point fight. What are you bringing? Trash, Trash truck. truck, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Trash truck, bitch. He's got fucking eight hundred wounds, twenty void shields, two plus Fuck. invulnerable save. Two hundred orcs with shooters in all directions. Thir thir thirty, uh, thirty toughness. And what he's really got is Kung Shu. You know what he's really got? What? Your mom! Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm sure I got a muffler or two around somewhere. Could be the inside joke now. Man, you may have a cool army, you ain't got no trash truck, though. No shit. Dude, my desk yeah, is a I mean, mess. Ah, so uh, yeah. Achoo! Uh, yeah, that's something I need to use. I'm going to make my own train set for um, 40k. A trash train? Oh. Well, no, but uh, you know what I mean. Dude, a train set, 40k train set that actually runs? I thought about that. Well, cool. I don't know if it'll... I mean, I, I, can, I could do that, but I mean, for gameplay, it would just be where it'll roll on the track, you know? So you do it like it can move this far in a turn kind of thing. Yeah. So... I'm going to grab some water. Be right back. Thanks, Mick. Mm-hmm. 
through this stinky Bitcoin farm. Yeah, so the only thing we got left now from Imperial Magazine whenever it gets here to receive is whatever that crazy, um, oh gosh, whatever that new Inquisitor is and that looks like he's wearing Dark Eldar armor and some kind of dragon on his arm. I thought you rented a new female one. Nah, let me see. You might be able to find it here real quick. Uh... Yeah, he's he's fucking weird. I, the the there was only supposed to be, um, eighty, eighty issues, and then out of nowhere they came up with the ninety. So I didn't really know what you were getting, but let me see your shop, Warhammer. Uh, I have no idea. Where do you find freaking? Oh, Agents of the Imperium. There we go. Alright, so let me pull this up. Uh, Let's spend some money to make some money. Do what? Oh, uh, spend money to make money. Um, it's not showing. Why are you not showing? What the hell? Alright, I'm just gonna make another one then. Let's see, window, capture. There we go. So, it's this. Hold on. It's this guy right here with the little dragon on his. or whatever you call this thing. He's a uh, Ordos Hinos. Inquisitor. I have no idea who this fucking guy is, but he's got a fucking Eldar uh, cat, uh, shuriken catapult type thing. Looks like he's wearing Tyranid fucking skull. Dark Eldar looking kind of armor. And he's got a fucking pet dragon. <laughs> I don't know, he's weird. So he's coming. The third part of a Contemptor Dreadnought, and let me see if I can find this other... It's actually a girl. That's a girl? It's a chick, yeah. Kira. Kira Draxus. Oh, I never looked at the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so with fun. her, apparently, she's, uh, she specializes in killing Necrons using Eldar tech. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe I'll give it to my wife. She hates Necrons. Like, hates them. Hates them. Let's see. Xenos armies, Necrons. Let's see if I can find this. Lord that they're sending me. This guy right here. The Illuminor Zerus. So he's next. Or he's the last Necron I'll get from... He actually looks pretty cool. Oh, this dude's freaking cool as shit. Yeah, so he, he's the last model I'll get from the Imperium Magazine thing. And then that's it. As far as I know. I think there's only 90 issues. Unless they do something else, I have no idea. Yeah, I remember seeing that dude in the teaser. I'm like, yo, that guy's so cool. I don't think, wait, he comes in the, uh, does he come in the new edition? I don't know. Wait, what do you mean? Did he come with, uh, in the Indominus box? I can't remember. No, no. Ah, uh, I'll have to get him separate then. No, and Indominus was 10th, or 9th edition, so we're now in 10th edition. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, he is a separate model. I think he's brand new, actually. 60 bucks, bro. From Games Workshop. That's, honestly, that's a not bad. Eh, it is to me, but I've been around this hobby a long time. I mean, look at these guys, dude. $32. You know? And I, and I believe these guys are legends now, not even, like, playable. That's so stupid. Why are they like, uh, these guys all legends? To force you to buy the new shit. Cause you can't. What? You can't play Trazen anymore. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't. look like shit compared to Trash Truck. That's true. That's true. 
But this you can't play treason anymore. That's some bullshit. This was the other thing, see that that I'm getting. I didn't realize it was a female. <laughs> You're making the bitches. So I guess there's our female space marine. There you go. Uh, Wait, that's a woman? Yeah, that's what yeah. I said. What? Kira, I never looked at the name. It says Kira, so we could call it Kyria. That that's a that's a dude. That's a dude. That's a fucking dude. That's a dude pretending to be a dude. Disguise is another dude. Dude, that's the dude. That's the that's the chick in the video. Yeah, yeah, that fucking the video. F the flat the flat face chick. Oh my god. I gotta uh, find that. Let's. Oh god. We're going to hell. Yeah, you're demonetized now. I am. De well, I didn't mean because Slim got here, but just because of what we I just do. said. <laughs> Wait, bro, I'm, Wait. Here. I'm streaming right now. Yeah, I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Just uh, finished my ad mic, basically. So I shouldn't talk about that thing you did to me last night. The only thing we can talk about is trash truck. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I can hear. I can hear the uncertain chuckle in Badger's voice. Oh no, no, I know exactly what I did. I'm just wondering if you recovered from that hot iron. <laughs> You're still, I'm Damn. still bleeding. You're still bleeding? Okay. That's interesting. It must not have been hot enough to cauterize it. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I farted in one good time and it kind of tore some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Mick, now you know who I hang out with if you're still here. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, you're good. Oh, Jesus Christ. But, no, since I met you guys, dude, and we've done, you guys have guest star on the stream, it's been a lot more lively than it's ever been. I mean, I've just been, you know, that's about it. Tipping because of the horror aspect. Oh, my God. <laughs> You missed a good stream, though, me putting this bitch together. Oh, it was just a steady stream of fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I broke that, broke that, broke that. How much of it did you not break? Do what? None of it. How much of it did you not break? Not, not much. A lot of it broke. It was... It's very, very thin plastic. Like, all I was doing was trying to hold it, and I broke stuff. And like I said, I have a res a resin version of this guy. That's gonna be ugh. not to mention yeah, all the stoners are gonna hear you talk about resin and get excited. All right. I don't know. I might break that dude up and turn him into terrain, like a like somebody just whack some major majus, you know. And he's got here's what's left of him. You got to salvage his freaking you know inner core or something. Yeah, salvage his inner core. Yeah. It's not like I need three yeah. calls. <sighs> but I can only imagine, dude. I mean, the first time you accidentally fucking drop your tape measure on that guy and he's now he is fucking 50 pieces. Well, if you do it, that's one thing. Somebody else does it, that's an ass weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Honestly, I'd probably be like, dude, fuck. You want it? <laughs> you can have it. How much did you pay for that model? What, this one? Yeah. Uh, fuck, I don't know. It came in a box set. So, I'm trying to think. I think back then the box set was like 100 bucks maybe for all of this. Uh, if you're looking at my stream. Now it's probably... Uh, no, I'm on, I'm on Xbox at the moment, so I can't see Oh, okay. Um, so, I think it was like 100 bucks or something like that. And now... It was like 80 bucks, I remember, back in the day when that first came out. Oh, the box the was? Said easily. It's way too... Let me see. Easy. What does call cost on his own? Let's find uh, out. I'm looking right Wait, now. No, that's, yeah, it was about 60 to 80 if I remember. He's $60 by done. himself yeah. right now. Just by himself, he's 37, 37... So right now in this box, right now in this box, we've got 60 plus 40 plus 35. What's that? 135 plus where are the rangers well we got the destroyers so so 195 plus 55 so i'm looking at the picture god damn that thing looks like a mess 
So yeah, we got well over two hundred dollars just sitting in this box with this many, this few models. Oh wait, we got we forgot the Skatari Marshall. Where's he at? Here's another thirty-five. So yeah, so that's ninety dollars right there, plus sixty, so one hundred and fifty. Wait, did I get the? Yeah, I did. Okay, so one hundred and fifty plus sixty, so two two ten. Plus forty two fifty, uh, and then this guy. So two eighty five is sitting in this box right now. If you bought it individually, that's ridiculous. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventeen models. Back of your head is ridiculous. <laughs> two hundred eighty five dollars for for what you see right here. That's that's crazy. Oh wait, I'm saying what you see right here you can't even see because I fucking for that. Two hundred and eighty five bucks. Yeah. The uh Lionel Johnson mini, my wife got me for Christmas, came in. Oh yeah? Nice. Yeah. You mean this guy? <laughs> I'm assuming you have him in your hand. So yes. Yeah. Oh that's right, you can't see. It's not. It's still in the box with a shrink wrap on it. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I know. Can you imagine though, dude? Two hundred eighty-five dollars for seventeen models here. That's crazy. I mean, if you bought them separately. That is. That's. That's. Uh, <laughs> you know, if they ever convert minis into like currency. I'm good. I'm dude. I'm. I, I beat Elon. Start breaking down the minis to like uh, parts for currency, dude. If I that, I'm arm. telling you, I'll be the richest man in the world. I could probably buy Games Workshop and stock with that. How do we know you aren't already? You just haven't been lying to us. How do we time. know you aren't Mr. Games Workshop? Because huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mr. I, Workshop. You know why or how you know? Because if I was, shit would be run a lot fucking differently. And shit wouldn't be this goddamn expensive, I can tell you I like, that. I like Badger's idea. He said he wants to open a games workshop gaming store. He's just going to sit out and teach people how to play, and my ass has got to run the shop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. That's what I was thinking and thought it was a good idea. Yeah, I'll run the shop, and he can just teach people how to paint. And... All right. That, miss, that, miss, uh, Badger, there has to be a stipulation, though. What's that? See, that has to have a t name tag. doesn't say his name. It says his uh, Twitter handle. 88? So that That's his see, name? Yeah, I see the 88. <laughs> and so they go, what's the 88 mean? And that goes like... So you're gonna fuck bad. your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> no, oh, okay. Like, oh, yeah. Oh. Funny you should mention that because I came all the way from Korea. Huh. My new my new response has been when they ask me about my DD two fourteen, as I say, I left it on your mom's nightstand. We can check it out there. <laughs> oh damn! Well, at least you left that. Damn, not else on the it's the code your mom gave me to to the front door. <laughs> it's one two three four five. Same shit's on our luggage. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe, dude. That's. Damn, two hundred and eighty five dollars for seventeen miniatures if you bought it separate. Holy crap. He it says that he's gonna do it again. <laughs> oh no. I oh I no. Do it again. No, there 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 are no more ad mech that are gonna dude, all this crap they've got. Like this guy right here, this Katari Marshall. Let me see here. This guy, I cut that fucking thing off his head. And now he looks like a chaos space marine. But you know, some of this stuff is dumb looking. These flyers, they're dumb. I don't like them. They, I mean, they try to make them, you know, made it out or tried to make it out to be like steampunk type. I don't like it. I just, I don't. It looks stupid. It doesn't make any, dude, the ad mech would not make something that stupid and fragile. They just wouldn't. I mean, it's just. What was that thing I kept seeing about a, like, like somebody on, from the ad mech on stilts? Oh that's my god, really, yeah. Oh, that's stupid shit, yeah. yeah. The Sidonian Scatross or Scatross. <laughs> Looks like a, a a sniper on stilts. Scat indeed. The scat monster, yeah. Dude, that thing's... The scat, man. Cutest, what do you do that? 
It's so dumb. Who's, <laughs> I, I don't even understand, dude. Like, I mean, take a look at what's hanging beneath his legs. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, no, that's a line you guys would expect from me. Just that's a refueling nozzle. Yeah, it is. Fucking giraffe dong. <laughs> fucking Jesus. Giraffe dong? I what? wouldn't know. Different part knocker, don't you know? I guess. What was the line I heard? I think it was, it's a Gundam. It was in the middle of a broadcast. All of a sudden he goes, oh man, I'm higher than giraffe pussy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it's a Gundam. I mean, yeah, these models, they don't do anything for me in that regard. I have one of these things because it came in the kit or the Imperium Magazine thing, I believe. I forget how I got it. I know I didn't buy it. Like, buy it, buy it. I don't want any... Dude, these it, are... I mean. Like, so I bought the Imperium Magazine subscription because of the fact you got all these... You know, mostly Space Marines and Necrons. And then they gave you a little bit of uh, Admech and Sisters of Battle. Um, but mostly because of the Primaris Marines and the Necrons, right? The full Necron army. And the terrain I don't really need because I already have it, but, you know, whatever. And um, it's, you know, it was basically, I think it worked out somewhere in a ballpark of like $2,800 or something. And you got, you got all this stuff for 45% off. So it was really hard to pass up. And I'd never done the magazine thing before. You know, they gave you these binders and you got all this, you know, these tidbits of lore, stories, missions, all this stuff. Now, mind you, the rules don't matter anymore because, I mean, I'm still waiting on the last bit to come in and we're already in 10th or 11th, 10th edition, 10th edition. And so, like, even this, I mean, you're not seeing this, but this vehicle right here is just, why would the Admech want a fucking LCU, dude? landing craft unit from fucking World War II. That makes no sense. That's more of a guard thing of anything, or a creep thing. Right. Yeah, fucking Gorgon style vehicle. So, I mean, I don't have any... You know, there's there's no... None of this stuff makes any sense to me. And now I'm not even like... Oh, that's a collector's job. I say, now I'm not even liking, you know, how they're bloating the... I mean, dude, look at this, okay? What is this? One, two, three, four... So, 16 dice for $32 because they got a Mechanicum symbol on them and they're red and white. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, and that, they're, they're that price on fucking Amazon, even. Oh, my God. I was going I was, I was <clears> to <throat> get a set of uh, Sororitas dice. Jesus. Like, fucking people are on... I mean, I've paid some money for D&D &D dice over the years, but holy shit. Yeah, right? And they look, they look cool. These are really not that big a deal. They don't look that decorative. You could make your own. Pretty much. a lot better, probably. Yeah, I mean, the era of 3D printing, shit. Yeah. Isn't all those, like, resin? You can take and cast your own? Well, you could, yeah, you could, I mean, I can do them in plastic. Of course you can. You ever hear this guy picking his nose? Trees. What the fuck? No, he's doing some kind of prayer, but it looks like he's picking his nose, and he's fucking... Wait, is he hovering? He's the great move. booger god. Dude, he's like a cross between fucking uh, Baron... Uh, oh, Harkonnen? shit. Yeah, Harkonnen and fucking Admech. Hey, Nurgle, I got something for you. No oh, shit. Oh, that's what he's doing. He's holding his nose, sucking it in, and it's coming up through this fucking whatever up here. Tick priest mantle pus. Manipulus. Uh, Manipulus. 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 Barefoot? Oh, dude, look at that fucking helmet. Or that, that hood. Oh, fuck. That's fucking Grandmaster material right there. It's a lot better than that one. Oh, dude, you, you gotta see it, Danny. It's horrible. Oh, hold on. Let me get a screenshot it. It's horrible. Jesus Christ, that's awful. That's, that's... Yep, we're demonetized. Just saying. Here you go, Danny. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? No, it's okay. They got, you know, half naked people on Twitch. No, this is worse. Is it? <laughs> Good cut. <laughs> My old. Dude, you paint that dude white, all of him, 
It's over. You put him on the table, it's over. You're done. Yep. They'll, they'll kick you out of the store, I guarantee it. Instant ban. That, that, that hood is out of control, bro. He is the grand mechanard. Dude, Danny, Danny, you know what you need to do, man? You need to post that on your Twitter and say, what do you guys think of my paint job? <laughs> grand, grand master nipple. So, somebody's going to call you out that it's GW's, but either way, if somebody, just just see if you can get the bait going. What's wrong with it? The hood. What was that? It was, was it was one of the scary movies where it was supposed to be like a takeoff from 8 Mile? No, oh, I think that was... Was that the third one? And he flips the hood up and it's pointed. You know, everybody stops and looks at it like, what the fuck? Here's 19 models for 160 bucks. <laughs> in Combat Patrol. It's the Van Vanguard... It's good, uh, that ma the, the Manipulous guy that we just looked at. Some... <laughs> Fucking many, many nipples. <laughs> yeah, some fucking Sir Nipples. Some kind of cavalry that look like they're riding giant dogs. And some fucking <laughs> and some fucking winged <laughs> idiots that look like they flew Is through that the, the Saint Uger, uh, regiment. Oh man. Could be. Oh man. He's, yeah, the, the, I Batman. No, no, no. You're man bat. No, you fell <laughs> off the roof and half of the wing fell off. Jesus. Fucking let me see what they got for these combat that damn patrols. Man bat. Let's see here. Start I here. Guess man bat, the world's worst anti villain. Oh, you think that's bad? Look at these stupid freaking poor bastards. Look at these stupid grab bikes. Where is he? Fucking Votan or Votan, whatever they are. Squats. Oh, the squats? Yeah. Well, damn. It's yeah, not the worst like thing I've ever seen, like but Star Wars. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like some cobbled together Dude, shit. Dude, all the all the combat trolls are patrols are 160 bucks. This Custos one is so OP, dude, with these bikes. Oh my god. Both the stones are fucking nasty and general. Wait, is that what I think stones? it is? Oh my god, I thought that was Henry Cavill's face on that Iron Eisenhorn Omnibus. I was like, get the hell out of here. Spoiler alert. Damn. Where's sisters? Oh, there they are. Oh, wow. 160 bucks and you get... Uh, basically... Uh, this. Oh, you get the rhino. Yeah. You, you get the baby carrier. You get the fucking penitent engine. Well, you get the rhino, penitent engine. Looks like five seraphim. Looks like you get the uh, four. Get some, um, four sisters repentia. Three freaking yeah. arcoflagellants. And three, six, nine, ten. A squad of ten sisters and a canonist and a uh, whatever the whatever the lady is with the whip. Uh, that's kind of dominatrix. I was gonna say that's that's sister. And you're gonna do what the fuck I told you. Right, right. Oh my god. She's the one that controls Erica Flagellants, isn't she? Yeah. Uh, no, the um, the uh, sisters Repentia. Arco flagellants are like suicide troops. They just you release them and they're gone. Yeah, I thought they had some sort of command system in them. No. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, the freaking Death Guard combat patrol is mostly pox walkers. That's man. Well, it does come with typhus, so there's that. <laughs> and it and it does come with uh, whatever this guy is. I can't remember. Uh, where is he? Where the hell did he go? Hey, assholes, what are you doing? Typhus. This guy, whatever. I forget this guy. He's a special character. Well, 
bunch of champions. So much easier to put this stuff together than what I just did, I can tell you that. Oh, there he is, Cyphus Kane, hero of the Imperium. God, you hate him, man. Dude, he's a fucking loser. Oh, there we go. Here it is, diverse, the DEI manual. Hmm? Oh, Avenging Son? Yeah. Ah, the character's not that bad. No, I'm just... It's, I know, I know, yeah. I know. They had to put him on the cover. Wait, the founding... Oh, Gaunt's Ghost Omnibus. Yeah, they got uh, four or five of them. Nice. Yeah. Um, Wonder why it's in the Combat Patrol area. <sighs> because their website is shit. Yeah, well. Hey, well, here's one. The Tyranid one with the uh, Winged Hive Tyrant and the Norn Emissary. I, I want that model, but it's like 100 bucks. 230 bucks for this combat patrol? Jeez. Get the hell out of here, dude. I thought they were all 160 bucks. Nope. And, oh, it's an onslaught swarm, not a combat patrol. And it's sold out. World Eaters are freaking sold out. Huh. Orcs, what is Christmas? Orcs Beast Snaga Stampede is sold out. And that's... I don't get this one, man. Like, look at this freaking giant squig cart thing that's even ridiculous dude that's something you would see in fantasy for you know warhammer fantasy not not 40k that just i don't know now this is not bad with this freaking squig shark looking thing squirk yeah squirk. <laughs> squirk. oh unitard or unicycle freaking grot that's crazy like, he must be like a servitor. Oh, that's wild. Yeah, that is wild, dude. Hold on. Yeah, he's pretty... That, that's, that could be scary. These freaking dudes. Huh. I'm coming after you. Oh, damn. They even did it with a with a uh, bomb squig with, on a unis, as a unicycle. With bombs and a freaking grot ready to stab people. He's not bad. Yeah, see, this just gives me fantasy vibes on the boars, not, not, forty k vibes, I guess. Hmm. Weird. What are the, what else they got here? Middle Earth. That guy was talking about Lord of the Rings. Let's see. Uh, I guess good. What did he say to get Minas Tirith battle host? 90 bucks. How many miniatures do you get? 33. That's pretty good. They look kind of old school, but... Yeah, they look good Minas Tirith, though. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do they have Rohan? That's what I would want. Rohan Battle Host. Here we go. Wait, what? What the hell is all these freaking foot soldiers? Where's my horses? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's it? That's some lame shit right there. Oh god, is that supposed to be Gladriel or whatever her damn name is? Let's see. Oh, wait till it catches up. Uh, this, this. On the right. Oh yeah, Eowyn. Eowyn, that's what I meant to say. Uh, that's supposed to be her. Yeah, possibly. Skip. No, that's a guy. That he's got a mustache. That might be, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh you know, Eowyn. Oh, true, true, true. Don't, don't judge, you fucking bigot. <laughs> you bigot. <laughs> ain't nothing. Rohan, Watchtower, and Palisades. Not, that ain't keeping nothing out. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Damn, $60 for three Rohan knights? I mean, three guys on horseback? That's crazy. And they're not even, like, newer models. I was going to say, I didn't think they were making much for that Lord of the Rings anymore. I didn't think so either. Apparently it's gotten pretty popular, though. I mean, I realize you need foot soldiers, but Rohan is, you know, 
they're supposed to be horseback. Yeah. Fucking, you know, that's that's their whole thing. I don't even remember seeing them. Did they ever have any ground troops? Mm, in the book they did, not so much in the movie. I mean, that's why they're literally called the Riders of Rohan. Yeah. Huh. Rider of the Dead. 1650 for one model. It's called Necrophilia. You would need... God, I don't even know how many of those you would need if you looked at, like... What am I trying to say? Um, the Jackson scale of how big that army was? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. He's spending tens of thousands of dollars. Let's see what else they got in 40k crap. Rules and codex. Ways terrain. Let's look at terrain. Oh, Jesus. You can pay 85 bucks for a box if you want it. It's just, nothing in it. It's just a box. Yeah, this, this one's actually more empty. Jesus. Oh, there you go. You can pay 80 bucks for this thing to put on the table. This train was a little behind, so we'll see. Fucking orc bigged boss bunker. No, oh, the big boss bunker. The biggest boss bunker? Tower. Fucking dumb. Oh my god, 240. It's like the Dawn of War orc towers, basically. Yeah, well, and then look at this the miasm miasmic malignifier. You know what I have a huge oh, problem with on this thing? Is there's no way Nurgle would allow that neat of a paint job. <laughs> right? There's no way. Needs more pus. Needs more pus. <laughs> Needs more pus. Yeah, and rust and decay. What the hell's this shit? Hey, you know, Danny, if you stayed home sick tomorrow, you could probably play for an hour or two on Dark Tribe with us. On the stream. <laughs> He's the guy. Are you talking, are you yeah. talking to me or... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, be nice. But... No. I need the money. Damn, the terrain's really yeah. lacking this time around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be off Tuesday, or Monday and Tuesday, though. Next week. I, dude, I can't get into these new Astra Militara models. They're too big. They they just don't look. I don't know. They don't look dark don't enough. Watch. Do what? No, they don't. They just look too. And Extra I, what? I, Son, you're in the guard. Yeah, and I can't get into this rogue Rogaldorn battle tank either. To just, I don't know. No, leave the rest all the way, baby. And there's something about this 50 cal being back here behind this. Uh, tank commander or driver? It's probably a driver. There's something wrong, wrong there. No, that would be the loader. Okay, that's the loader. So yeah, they, they uh, they're, they're basically stealing that from the old Sherman design. Well, the problem I have yeah. with this is, you see this big fucking front plate. If this guy fucking depresses the slightest Dude. little bit, he's fucking eating up the whole that plate. Dude. Don't even get me started on how bad the fucking designs are on most of the tanks in 40k. Most of the weapons would, wouldn't even function. Right. Hmm. That's why they sprinkle oil on it and pray. Pray it works. That fucking minigun has little to no traverse, as well as the fixed machine guns on the front. On the front. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what that's what I was thinking. I mean, dude, he's he. The only thing that minigun's good for, honestly, is troops at range. There, there's no yeah. way that thing... I mean, I get it. You know, there's dead space everywhere around a tank. That thing couldn't fucking provide well, a modicum of dead space cover, you know, cover because of the fucking command turret, the fucking... Whatever this fucking front plate is. You know, I mean... Well, the, the other thing that always gets me is ammo. Yeah. Where the fuck is the ammo for all this shit? Well, he's got a box right here. <laughs> so, I guess that's all I gave him. Oh, yeah, he's got, he's got one fucking 50 cal box. Yeah. Um, it's good enough for six turns, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I mean, it's like all the ammo, unless... Because most of those look like shell weapons. Yeah. 
Well, now the melta guns down here are not. Um, no, no, but the rotary cannon is. The yeah. Others, the main gun looks like it's about a 120. Yeah, main gun, the fucking heavy stubber here, the fucking Gatlin. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay, it looks like a 20, 20, 30 millimeter coax. Yeah, 30 millimeter auto cannon, coaxial, 50, 50 cal up on top. That's a lot of fucking ammo. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Where and is the tur- that turret is nowhere big enough for all the shit you need. To Hold on, let me trust see. Trust me here. on that one. Let me see something here. Hold on a second. Of that, I know which I speak. <laughs> What's that? Were you a tanker when you were in? There you yeah. go. 22. Oh, shit. Two years, yeah. Hell yeah. I have well, spent Abram. many fucking days. Well, I was on... Well, There's your Lehman Russ battle cool. tank. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just... Yeah, look at that fucking thing, man. <laughs> Jesus, that's horrible. That is worse than the M60. That's not even the old picture. Hold on, let me try to find the old picture. That fucker's got about eight rounds in it. <laughs> well, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe one in the chamber, seven. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you ain't got no ammo. Fuck me. I mean, maybe maybe there's, you know, one behind each one of these, maybe. Maybe double stack. I don't know. Maybe, but I mean, having ammo exposed like that, we all know how well that works. Sponson Gunner. So there, the so there, so there would be another guy over here, you know, for another sponson. Yeah. And then. And there's gotta be eight. So I see a lo- unless the gunner is also the commander. You gotta have a loader because I don't see the equipment for an auto loader. Uh, the command. They're loading one in right here. This has got to be the commander. So maybe. Yeah, he's, he's on the gun. Is he sitting behind the breach? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think he's off to the side. Okay, okay. So you got the loader loading behind him. You got yeah. The command, you got the gunner commander. Yeah. You got the driver down in the front, and then you got Bob the servitor that's about to get his ass eaten. I think the servitor is actually the driver. This guy is mount, doing the whole mounted last cannon. Okay, well, the servitor would probably make a better driver than the Right, driver. right. Yeah, so. probably. Let me see. I want to try to find the original picture. It's going to blow your you fucking mind. Guys, then you got the two guys mounting the heavy bolters on the sides there. Yeah, yeah, the guys in the sponsons. Let me see. And there's like almost no deflection in most of the. Most of these guns have little to no elevation. Or oh, that one's actually way better. Look at that. There's way more ammo in that fucking thing. Hold on. What? Oh, whatever one you clicked on that was like before you clicked on the Sherman there. Oh, hold on, let me see. It was like the second photo, but that's all right. That? But oh, there's way more fucking ammo. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's... I think that's somebody else's rendition. That's not... There's a 40K, like an actual, you know, Games Workshop one out somewhere. I just don't know where the fuck... I, I, oh, yeah, I know I have it in a codex. I know that. Do what? I said, yeah, in that picture, where the servitor is, is that's where the driver was. Yeah. Said. Yeah, but they were a lot more cramped than even that picture in the original picture. And they can't have fuck all for sight systems. Uh, it had some kind of sight system in it, didn't it? Say that? Yeah, it's going to be telescopic. I mean, it's just going to be like a fixed telescope. Hold on, let you're me gonna see. Be, you're going to be Kentucky windy and just the fuck out of your shots. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Hold on, where is it? Here it is. Hey, hey Bubba, look. Uh, tactical cogitator targeting system. Um, Voxcaster. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We got the, we got the heavy the, stubber, twelve millimeter. Yeah, twelve point seven. So that's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. All right, so we've got the Voxcaster taking up the whole fucking bustle. We've got a fire suppression system, an engine the side of a Yugo's. What does that say at the top? Where? Between the fifty fan caliber and the antenna. Oh yeah, fan. Bl- yeah, okay. We got a fan. Tactical cogitator. I don't know how well. Sitting coax with the fucking main gun. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, Servitor Bob. And then remember, you got another guy over here. Dude, look at the size of the fuel tank. Yeah. Fucking 10 gallon jerry can. (laughs) It might go all the way across. Who knows? Uh, Still, still though. I will say. 
I will say that this picture is not correct because the back end is actually longer than what this picture is depicting. Oh, that's, no, that's no General Dynamics 1500 horsepower turbine back there, I can tell you that. Fuck, no, that can't. thing looks like, dude, we, the fucking German Tiger engine would put that thing to shame. That thing is just anemic. We use more gas starting up than that thing holds. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. it. Ain't got no gas in it. It still ain't got shit for ammo either. Let me see if I I, I gotta find this thing. It's gotta be somewhere, cause it's even more ridiculous. Like, wait a minute, is this it? Now, oh, this is the demolisher. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Who's got the picture? All right, I ain't scrolling through all that. Hold on. Every shit. Let me see if I can. Ain't got no words in it. Ain't no gas in it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I remember I was literally discussing this with somebody. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this is even worse. And the dude was arguing. I'm like, okay, what are you basing all your stuff on? Oh, let me. Zoom this in for you guys. So, so what are you basing your, your information on this particular topic? And he starts posting web pages. I'm like, okay, I'm basing mine on a lifetime of fucking armor <laughs> experience. That shit don't work. <laughs> it's garbage. And I said, the fucking armor, I said, did you know, I mean, did you know how thin the armor is? It's like 113 armor. Fucking M1 armor is stupidly thick. I mean, it's like, I think I know what your problem with the Lehman Russ is. What? Ain't got no armor in it. Ain't no armor in it. <laughs> uh, you forgot Lehman something Lehman. at the factory. What? Armor. <laughs> Need the Rocky effect. Be able to take a hit and keep on moving instead of just bursting the flames. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know we took a few fucking hits on our day. Is this, is this working for you guys? Uh, kind of sort. Of. Okay, so they've got oh, the demolisher. Oh, there we go. All right. What the fuck is that? That is, is it? terrible. It's a Tonka toy. <laughs> oh my god, that's ass. You see how much more? Uh... What did they do? Cut the TC off at the waist and just turn him into a servitor up there? <laughs> no, he's got he's got his feet in there somewhere. Yeah, up the driver's ass. Uh, <laughs> now, that, that giant cannon in that casemate turret, that's the part I love. So if you scroll up, there's the, the demolisher cannon. There's no breach. There's no way there's a, a fucking gunner commander's head, a breach block, and a sight system in that fucking turret. There's not. You are no, look at that. the fuck out of it. But the, the recoil, when that gun... I fired a fucking Shillelagh gun missile system. The recoil would just pulp his fucking body. Maximum speed, 25 kph on-road, 17 off-road. Alright. Okay, so what, he's got a... Non, okay, he's got an auto-loader. Non-stabilized, 1,000 meter range. <laughs> non Come to a stop to fire. <laughs> and by that time, you're already getting you're shot already by everything. Dead. I feel like that demolisher would flip this tank. So it's got a plasma generator, a, las a laser generator, and a V12 multi fuel air cooled fucking 840 horse, 25 kph on road. With 840? Bruh. With Bruh. 25. 25. Whoops. So that means he's moving about 10 miles an hour. <laughs> she is a demon garbage. I can outrun it. I love the way that... Oh my god, this... this it's like you could have asked the tanker. Maybe, Maybe they tank. did. Maybe they asked some, you know, stolen Valor, Valor guy. Okay, so 72 tons combat loaded. Where? Where's all the fucking weight? There's no armor in that. Thing. There's no ammo. There's no. Oh no! There's the ammo. If you look, 
in the whole section right yeah. behind Bubba. Yeah, a whole four fucking rounds. Like, so there's four rounds lying loose. I want to see the autoloader pick that shit up, ram it up through the turret, <laughs> past the gutter <laughs> commander's head, and la- load it in the breach. The, the, thick, the turret thickness is 200 millimeters. Sloping, what? yeah, it says down here in the lower left, sorry. The uh, front slope is how much? Hold on. Uh, the glacier is sloping to effect of 350 millimeters. <laughs> okay. That's Congratulations, not you're driving a Sherman. <laughs> oh and in my fact, God. you're driving a 105 Sherman. Operational <laughs> range 250 kilometers on road, 100 kilometers off road. Optional 100 liter auxiliary tanks giving an extra 100 kilometer range. I'm just uh, trying to figure out, like you said, the fucking demolisher fires. I mean, it could be a low recoil gun, but. I don't think so. Uh, fuel ga- fuel is gasoline, benzene, kerosene, or other. Uh, I'm burning other. Maybe they can uh, throw grots in there. I love the fucking, I love the basically shock absorbers on the gun, too. The fucking recoil system is coming from the fucking world. They strip somebody's fucking Ford pickup. It's, it's interesting they're up. saying passive night sight because you used to have to pay for that upgrade. Yeah. Huh. Oh, it says 12 ammunition, 12 demolisher shells carried on board. Plasma dynamo charges at 200 therms second on full revolution. Laser generator capable of full charge from dead in two hours. Good for one hour of full combat. I'm trying to figure out what this thing was 72 tons. This tank, like, no. This thing's a 105 Sherman. No, this thing is terrible. I'm still trying to figure out. Where's the 72 tons? I don't know. The crew is... There's five crew. Commander, two sponsor gunners, last cannon operator, drive, uh, driver, and comms officer. So this is a little different from the one we saw with the servitor and shit. Uh, the weight is 68... T- yeah, the weight is 68 tons, unladen, 72 tons of full combat loading. Uh, demolisher cannon, non-stabilized, effective range 1,000 meters. Carousel automatic loader, automatic shell ejector system. At where? Yeah, that's a where. Where does it load? I mean, it could eject through the back of the turret if the commander's head wasn't in the way. Right, right. I Duck! Don't, I don't Duck, know. motherfucker! It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> Dude, it would, be, it would be putting the rounds through his entire chest. It would. It would. Yeah, it would. Oh, come on. This is, is really this is entertaining, dude. This is entertaining watching see that fucking lose his shit over it. Let's see what else oh we got. My god. Oh my god, I'm, I'm fucking actually. I just realized I'm going actually. to actually on this show. Actually. actually. We're actually looking at cursed right tank now. designs. Bro, no. Bro, we're no. doing a Mike, we're doing a fucking Mike Burnfire right here. You're Zach losing his shit over this sad is, gun designs. This is literally me just going, my god, I literally... I really wish I could find that one picture because it's got... Dude, the fucking guardsman in there looks like he's crushed on the inside trying to make this tank go. They're, they're trying to go cool. They're trying to go that World War One kind of World War One and intervening year kind of look to it, but it's a shit fucking design. Oh, here we go. Drive me closer. I want to hit them with my sword. <laughs> That's Cav. Right yeah. There. That's armored Cav. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I want to like get Severus. I want to get that on a shirt. Why isn't it letting me see it? Oh, that's Ford World. Hit that with my tank. (laughs) Sorry, that's a hit and run. That's a felony if you're not Caitlyn Jenner. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Let's see here. No, that one. Oh, oh. Looks like we found, uh couple of things here hold on schematics for all kinds of shit why did they never take into consideration the size of the turret why did they never ever consider that there's no thought to recoil loading ejection <laughs> it just works that, that purple one right there that guy's gonna get hit in the dick the first time that thing fires come check Try it this way. What was your chicken in a bikini bottom? <laughs> it's like there's tank, 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 chicken in a bikini bottom. 
All right, let me see what I pulled up here. So this is Bane Blade. That's another one. As many people are supposedly in it, and it's like, well, it has an entire room in it. Bullshit. Okay, this is hey, the best best big. picture we got here. Um, okay, that's probably what a Lehman Russ should look like. For all the shit that it made. Yeah, hold on. I'll get to where I can move this thing around. But they're like, well, it even has this entire room in it. I'm like, have you been in a tank? <laughs> I mean, every tank looks like they designed it and they went, well, All did right. you forget anything? So the here's, the, here's the top. I mean, unfortunately, this is the best picture we got. Okay, so we got the TC with no body in the fucking hatch. He's got his fucking... Okay, I don't know what he's even looking at. We got this giant fuck-all gun. With the gunner once again looking like he's sitting behind the fucking... Oh, no, that's the loader. Okay. So he's going to put his dick beaters and manhandle that fucking round. We got the gunner off to the left. Okay, so far so good except for... Okay, so we've got a carousel, which means they should have an auto loader. They've literally got a bastardized loader system. It's got a carousel round below. Mm -hmm. They've got a rack behind it. But homeboy is still manually... He's, he's still manually cranking that fucking gun, you know, loading that gun. So that was up too bad. So that's actually pretty good. I don't know, we got we got some kind of fucking ad mech dudes going away down at the bottom right there. <laughs> uh, we got Home Slice, I guess he's running this, the fucking little turret gun off to the side there. Uh, it's not bad, the turret still looks fucked up. Uh, this giant demo gun with the fucking Krieger under <laughs> running it. Still no breach, no recoil system, nothing. Just shove the round up your ass and fire. Hmm. Uh, driver's got literally one tiny little periscope to do everything. Uh, I assume that's a last cannon above it. I believe this this has a machine spirit too, though. Well, it, it, the machine spirit drinks a lot of it. <laughs> does it curse at the crew too? <laughs> it does, man. It's when they start up and it just says, fuck you. <laughs> does it have a Scottish voice? I hope it has a Scottish voice. You have to be day. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else we got here. Let's see what else we got. We got, a, uh, we got an ammo feed. Now look in front of the driver's feet. There was an ammo feed. Oh, hold Boy. on. I'll go back. Listen. Sorry. Hello, listen in. How are you? to go to sleep. Great job. I told him, I cursed out laughing so hard. <laughs> it's, okay. It's well, that. Look in front of the driver's feet. We've got a, okay, a legitimate ammo box with a flex ammo feet going, that's a, okay, is that a bolter? Uh, twin heavy bolter, yeah. Twin heavy bolter. So, homeboy's got to drive and fuck with the ammo feet at the same time if it jams. Because he ain't got anything better to do. That um, sounds like a skill issue. I don't. I don't know if they actually drive and shoot the bane blade at the same time. Well, a, so it has to give you a stop. Driver stop. I don't think it has to, but I think that they they use it literally as a mobile fortress. Okay. So we got a Krieger loading the siege gun. He's got looks like a servitor behind him. I don't want to know what that. That's part of the, 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 the demolisher cannon. Yeah, and then there's a guy to the left of the Krieger. Oh, that's either it's around or somebody's helmet. Where? Uh, if you look where the Krieger guy is, the servitor is to the right. Look to his left. That was the group just above where you're. Well, this is a servitor. This is a, a tanker. Uh, this is the this is the top of one of these round. No, that's a head. That might be a servitor. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looks like there's another one there. Maybe he's running the heavy bolter. Yeah, maybe. The dual heavy bolter. Okay. And then this is a round. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the demolisher rounds. So this one's at least a little less cursed than the last one. Well, the fuel's back here. And then we have an ammo box, it looks like, above the track, because there's no way that could go wrong. Because it looks just like the ammo box for the fucking... Heavy yeah. Those no might be cells for the last cannon or this heavy bolter here. 
again, there's nothing wrong with putting it above a rapidly spinning metal chain. No, not at all. <laughs> that is some that is some U.S. government built shit right there. That's about it. It's fucked the crew. No, it's um, built uh, bitter. Yeah, I, like I said, it's it's not as big as they try to make it because. I remember I read that Baneblade book, and I was like, what the fuck is this thing, a cruise ship? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's well, hold, hold on, now that you say that, hold on. Uh, you may have seen this, um, oh god, what's it called, um... Badger's just gonna clip this part and says, old fucking tanker losing his shit. <laughs> oh god, what's it called, uh... Yeah, it's just gonna be like fucking old retard loses his shit on stream. Yeah, here you go. It's beautiful. Oh god, why is that not working? Hold on. I can't. Alright, asshole, you're pissing me off now. There's the Arx tank. The Fortress of Arrogance. Why does it got studs on it? Well, they all have that. They just did it in gold and black. Okay, so. Goddamn coax guns does this thing have on it? It's got the main gun, got three coaxes, a fucking infrared searchlight. I don't know. Uh, That's called the Fortress of Arrogance. The Fortress of fucking retarded. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> I'll stand up here and claw them. <laughs> Try me closer so I can hit them with my claw. He's got enough antennas. I was just say, they need a few more antennas, man. I don't think four is enough. I always love that whoever fell in love with the concept of the Soviet, let's hang fuel on the back of the vehicle. Because there's no way that'll go wrong either. And they always place the smoke grenade launchers like ass up. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, hold on. What is that thing called? Oh, shit. Let me think. There's oh, a... The the other thing I always love is if you look at, you see the sponson and the gun turret above it. Uh, Never mind that the rotational system for that turret would be rammed right through the bolters. Right. <laughs> to turn that turret, it's going to hit the shit behind it. Right. It's going to slam right against the, the hull. So. Let me see. Uh, I'm trying to remember this other thing. Um... Oh, shit, what's it called? Um, it's a ginormous vehicle. And I know there's a lot of people that would hear this and be like, It's just science fiction. Yeah, yeah really. But it could be better. What's well, it's got to be based in reality, at least at some point. Hey, Left, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, what's that fucking tank where it's it's like a, I mean, it's, it is, it's a moving fortress. What What the fuck is that thing? You know what I'm talking about? It was an epic. Uh, oh shit! I just thought it was a bane. You guys talking bane blade, but uh, no, it's even bigger. Oh shit! Ah, uh, I can't think of the fucking name of it. Let me this see. is brain damage on display. Everybody knows what they're wanting to say, but they can't think of the word. No shit. Oh, not great. I can't Retarded. <laughs> Retarded. Hold on, I got an idea. Forty k. Epic battle tanks. Spelled it wrong. Super tank. As soon as I see it, I'll know it. But <laughs> his Google search is gonna bring up female space brains. No, it's not. <laughs> I've already talked to my machine spirit about that. <laughs> Did you yeah. tell it has a replacement the moment it it coughs? Yeah. Hold on, what the fuck is it called? Uh, hold on. 40k epic. Largest imperial battle tank. Fellblade? I just saw something about Fellblade. Is that what you're talking about? I don't think so. This thing's mad. It's, it's, it's like, it's freaking huge, man. It, uh, fuck. Um, let me see. I'll just check that out real quick. I don't think it is, it, but. Is it Rosie O'Donnell Massive or oh. Lizzo Massive? Lizzo. Oh shit! Um, we just got demonetized. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! What is it called? It's freaking humongous. Forty k epic. 
fortress maybe let's try that uh, tank fortress maybe oh my gosh what's it called all right it's something whatever this It's something like this. This this thing right here. But it's a lot larger. I was going to say, are you talking... Because I know they keep saying Fellblade. So. Nah, Leviathan, that's it. That's it right there. This fucking thing. Hold on. Yeah, it's called the Leviathan. Hold on. Cool. Right, why is that not working? Hold on. It's bigger than a Bane Blade, I can tell you that. Alright, 40k Leviathan conversion. Okay, maybe Leviathan tank conversion. Yes! There you go, see that? This is all for you. Stand by. Huh? Waiting for it to show up. Yeah. You're gonna shit when you see this fucking thing. Hold on. I gotta adjust my picture. <laughs> you adjust this picture so make it look a lot bigger. Oops. He does that probably a lot, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. There you go. Please ignore what he said. I heard what he said. <laughs> what do you think of that? Uh, I'm still not seeing it. I know. What? Sometimes your uh, stream just lags out and I have to reload it. So. Oh, that sucks. Huh? Is that working? It, it just, it just, the screen just went. Hold on. Away. Yeah, I know it's white. Hold on. I don't know why it's got to be white, but it is. <laughs> oh. I'm sure it's just one of those immutable characteristics. Fucking Pinterest, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate Pinterest. I, I fucking hate Pinterest. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fucking... Oh, there it is. Is that working now? That is the largest, it's like two Bane Blades put, or four Bane Blades put together. That's it's not a tank, that's a shit building on track. <laughs> I know, it's what called a Leviathan. It was actually an epic 40k and people have made it into the actual 40k game. That's Do a, you know how easy that would be to kill? That's a Bane Blade turret on the top if that tells you anything. It's got a landing pad if that tells it's you anything. It's literally like a fucking 10 year old was like... I'm gonna design the coolest tank ever. I'm gonna put turret on top of turret. I'm gonna put missile launchers. I'm gonna put shit all over. I mean, number one, all you gotta do is run up in front of that thing and fucking start planting explosives because that cannon ain't gonna do fuck to you. The gun, main gun can't depress. And none of the fucking side guns can turn. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a I think it's a rear guard type thing or maybe you know a center command deal but yeah I get you. Oh my god. God <laughs> knows what's in the rear probably I don't know a fucking rocket launcher or some shit. No, nah, they probably have a fucking drop down ramp so you can bring a bane blade out of it. <laughs> oh I don't know that. I'm just making shit up. That but. thing is that, that is the kind of shit I could have posted that at the armor school when we were still at Knox. <laughs> and they would have believed the motherfuckers have just started drinking on the spot. <laughs> I remove all the Imperium saying, hey, this is what the current administration is thinking about making into a tank and just listen to the old timers start fucking screaming. God, I can't a bitch fucking Democrat. Wait, wait till you see this Land Raider conversion, dude. You're going to lose your shit on this one. Oh, well, no. He's enjoying this too much. Look at that. <laughs> I can't see it. It's, co it's coming. What the fuck? Is, what the fuck? 
fuck is that? <laughs> it's a Land Raider with all kinds of shit on it. It shouldn't what fall over. What is Land Raider doing on it? <laughs> Dude. It was, oh, oh. It was fucking fu what is this, a parade float? It's called a fucking retard float. That's what this <laughs> is. It's a fucking retard float. God damn, I'm losing my shit. Missile launchers and fucking... Oh my god. There you go. <laughs> Even oh, your the party box. <coughs> your yeah, yeah, that's what this is, right? It's like a fucking party bar. It's a fucking gray knight, fucking something. Party large, Jesus. It's they Christ. just slapped random weapons onto it. These are actual building parts, dude. Like this is for an actual building. If you, if you fired any two weapons, it would fall over. You know what's sad is it's an amazing paint job, but this god thing's, damn. This thing's more top-heavy than Dolly Parton. <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> you know the chick with... Hey, remember the chick with the bracelets? She wasn't this top-heavy, okay? Uh, I got you. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Uh, I they just like put a random light down there. If you look on the bottom right where the spawn's in... It's like, hey, Bob, what? Is there any lights on this thing? Fuck, I just slap some lights on. <laughs> oh, I need a power plant. I, I'm, not, I'm just saying it's so top heavy, though. It would fall <laughs> over. Let's see what <laughs> else we got here. Melt a can and it would fall over. Well, this might be a better picture because this will actually oh, show you. Oh, this is Sisters of Battle on a Land Raider. Huh. Oh, is this the church on the, where they have the fucking. No, yeah, this is well. This is a land raider oh with. Oh my god, that's even I worse. A really church. That's more fucking cursed. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this. I like it's that they great. included this. I mean, I, I mean, it's one thing when they have the, the the pipe organ that launches missiles. This has got an actual church. That's got a. Uh, it, it's somebody in Russia. Church come to you. <laughs> church come to you. <laughs> yeah. In Soviet Russia, church make you worship. <laughs> I mean, at least the weapons have some type of arc of coverage. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, nobody's inside of the vehicle because by the time you put power plant, fuel, ammo, generators, tampon dispenser, whatever else the sisters need, that's <laughs> nobody inside. The worst of part is sisters don't even get to use Land Raiders. Oh, God. Now this, on the other hand, is something that they do get to use. Uh, hold on. Alright, what happened to... There it is. What, what is this fucking... This is an actual vehicle. It's one of their organ missile launchers. Oh, yeah, things. yeah, yeah. You can get those in battle sector. They're, they're actually kind of shit, to be honest. The missiles miss as much as they hit. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, they either, like, do nothing or they wipe out the whole fucking squad. There's nothing in between. Oh, that's great. They look hilarious. Or you miss. They, they look hilarious, but, uh, yeah. Let the sister's see. vehicles are really quite shit. In <laughs> Let's see what else see that might fly off the handle with. And we're not going to talk <laughs> about that fucking, those, the, the, the lack of defense to the flanks or rear. Here we that go. Thing, this, this is more see that like You can pop out of a spider hole and fucking smoke that thing. That's more what you like, right? <laughs> you know that almost makes more sense yeah. than some of the other shit. Fucking orcs make <laughs> more sense. Because the orcs can just in the, south. the orcs would just believe it works and it would fucking work. Let's see here. Oh god. This is the ultimate tank right here. Stand by. <laughs> At least the orcs have an excuse but shit looks like it. Oh god, I just really said Sherman fucking track on that. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a fucking grot <laughs> tank. It's a grot tank. What in the hell is the What, what in the, the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that, Private Pile? <laughs> oh what my is god. The fucking holy shit. Apparently a lot of people have made that. There's a lot of different versions. Why? I got a thing, I just found a thing. How does it turn? I don't know. You got one track. You can turn. What? You, you go, what the what? hell is this orcish looking bullshit? Wait, look, they have a wait is this supposed to turn like separately? Oh no no! I just realized. I just realized. Yeah, those tracks are independent. Yeah. What 
Cool it's kind of like the snail tanks from Clone Wars. You see well, the you see the arrow cool. though, right? That tells Ridiculous. you which way to go. <laughs> it well, the minute the rot fired up that fucking flail though, his buddy's getting absolutely fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. He's just the next battle. The orcs field. don't give a flying fuck. Oh no, so. I think the to, as soon as he fires up that flail, that whole tank's going somewhere. Yeah, those fucking gun barrels are gone. Here, let's try this one. <laughs> I see. I don't get oh, half this mad. This is fucking it. awesome. It. It's orc tech. This so is so like, awesome. I'm, I'm passing it off as it's gonna work. Cause it, cause it don't, it don't, do not question it. Just accept. It. Dude, Dude, it's it's uh, like... <laughs> what the hell? Whoa! My airplane crashed. <coughs> don't worry about it. We'll fix it. Put wheels on it. It looks like it looks like that round thing that fucking uh, General Grievous took off in. It's a little round. Grievous, it's the Orc oh. Grievous bike with an airplane attached. Oh my god, yeah, that's it's awesome. Yeah, the little ass cockpit. Look at there's the Honda cannon. There's a level of fuckery that even the Orcs are looking at and they go, nope, 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 nope. I don't know, Speed oh, Freaks yeah. love that kind of shit. Again, like I said, I can't get mad because it's Orc tech, so it works. I don't know how. It's, it's, it's just it does. Does. Yeah, uh. it's, it probably doesn't even have ammo. <laughs> just, have you guys seen like any of the converted like ATAT like orc fortresses? Oh god, no! I don't want to see some curse. That's that's too curse. That's that's a crossover that shouldn't happen. It's kind of like apparently slim somebody head. also took like a B seventeen model and turned it orc. It's kind of like Slim having children. Oh, the Edith oh, yeah. fortress. <laughs> that they, one looks good. Look at the upper left. They asked up a fucking M one model. What? Oh, go back, go back. It's the Eden Defense Force thing on the last page. Where they basically, they took like an M1 model or whatever, made it into like guard shit. Where uh, yeah, they, they took an M1 chassis and slapped guard fucking tracks there on the left. Yeah. The oh, center yeah, portion is like, an M1. Is that all the Funtress party? I was gonna say, I was wondering. That's a Land Raider chassis. Yeah, but that center, that stuff all of an M1. Exhaust and everything. I don't know, I just didn't. I've been hanging out here with the batter and everybody. Yeah, if you scroll down, those lights and everything, that's from an M1 or an M1 IP. Yeah. All right, boys, I gotta get off the wife is being a wife. So I'll see y'all later. Yeah, wife aggro. Talk to you later. Wife aggro. Later, boys. Later. And they also it looks like they took an M1 turret, Charlie two two something cav. Eighty three. Could, could be. I don't know. But yeah, they they they. Uh, oh, I see what you're what you're looking at. Uh, so that rear grill section. I wish I could right? see that better. The rear grill section is M1. Then they threw some fucking just some fifty five gallon drums on there. Took an M1 turret, assed it up. That's an M1 IP. Look at the TC's hatch. He's got the doghouse in front of him. Oh, that's right. I'm not real. I'm still in Valor. I couldn't know all this shit. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I was yeah, about to yeah. call you on all of that shit because, you know, you're wrong. I know this. <laughs> they, even got, they even kept the fucking crosswind sensor mast in the back. Or the, are they trying to say that's the fucking. I I they, they went to those fucking masked silent tunnels. Maybe they're calling that the donkey dick, I don't know. It could be. They got a rocket launcher. That's... It's not the most cursed thing, though. That fucking minigun when it fires, they better have some great heat. Fucking venting. They're just gonna roast when that fucker fires. And the Imperium of Man roasting is par for the course. Yeah, somebody definitely painted that with an eye towards modern U.S. military look. Oh, it looks great, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like I said, it's far from the most cursed thing I've seen. So oh, here you go. This is what you need right here. Okay, that looks like a Leo turn. What the fuck is that shit? That shit I can show. <laughs> it was actually a small tank like this, though, in real life. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know. Um, Panzer Three World War Tune. The, uh, if you look up the Ford 6 ton... Ford six ton. Ford six ton tank. I see that. Yeah. While he's looking that up real quick, swap to uh, our my server. Uh, Steph tagged you in something. Uh -oh. uh, it doesn't look like it's popping up. Oh, I'll post a picture. Hang on. 
Well, it's not popping up on Pinterest. I'll put it that way. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. Not this one. Six ton or seven ton three man tank. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. There's also a three ton, which is even fucking more cursed. Like, if you look at the Ford three ton, um, it was it was uh, 1918. It was basically a, a heavy machine gun tank where the driver had a fold-out accordion door to get into. And then there was the commander, and that was it. Uh, oh, no, there, there's... Yeah, there's the sixth time. Here, I'll, I'll download this for some post in the chat. That's it? Ford three ton tank, 1918, yep. With a heavy bolter. <laughs> God, I would not want to be in that thing when it got hit. <laughs> I'm not even joking, dude. That would suck balls. Yeah, there's a lot of vehicles in Warhammer that would not want to be. Well, no, yeah, this, is, this was here. real. This is 1918. Oh, shit. This was a real tank. That's really small. We used to hang out at the back of the museum. That's where, that's where I... Did he just cut out a few? Uh, no. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, I yes, agree. Yeah, so, yeah, that's... So the driver... Yeah. Front, and then that was one of the first independent turret tanks in the American Arsenal. Basically had a 30 cal. And then it had a... I think it was an engine operator. Basically, the guy that took care of the engine and the radio. Hmm. All crammed into that fucking thing. Well, real quick. Hold on. Let's see here. Um, so for everybody watching the stream, just want to say thank you been like friggin million hours but anyway we will catch you next time and uh yeah we will catch you next time later